Otherwise, I'm going to freak. See, I saw stuff coming up on YouTube, but not in my little widget. Quick, someone say something. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my God, this pop-up appears on YouTube. Now would be a good time to insert ads. No, no, it's not. Hmm. My chatting app is, has Twitch coming through, but not YouTube. Rude. Also, this is not even the right computer. I should see what's going on. Because now that I'm multi-streaming, it's my first time multi-streaming doing an order packing stream. So I've got some chat stuff open. Interesting. Okay. The yeah, only Twitch chat's coming through. Widget, chat. Yeah, YouTube's on, Twitch is on. Okay. Rude. What's a member? What's a member? What's a member? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I gotta mute this computer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, keep talking, keep talking. I might have to have two separate chats open on this computer. But also, it's not working on my main computer either. That's so weird. What the hell is the T? Anyway, <laughs> should we keep talking? Yes, especially YouTube chatters. Yeah, Bay Cool. Oh my god. Sorry, this is a disaster. But I guess I could just open up the YouTube chat and we'll have them separate for this stream. <laughs> Which is annoying. Once a member, always a member. But for some reason the YouTube chat's not coming through. Since when does it read it out loud? Since the multi-stream, at least for member, Twitch. Because YouTube doesn't have any text input for streams. Okay, live. Because I wondered if it wasn't gonna work because I'm not streaming off this computer. But it's also not working on the main computer, so. Once a member, always a member. Whatever, dude. It worked my last multi-stream, but actually, wait, if I go, a member, always a member. oh, weird. Your chat is currently offline. Interesting <laughs> for like the built-in. I love the packaging stream. So relaxing. Yeah. Okay, I've got YouTube chat open separately, but that's going to be annoying. A little bit of Dream Life Valley listening to Bailey pack orders on my day off is pure bliss. Because <laughs> i got to make room for three windows. The alerts are going to have to go over here. Once a member, always a member. Well, this is silly. Oh, I don't know if I like that though. What's going on? Oh, <gasps> wait. Sorry, I'm gonna go look over at my other computer. I think it's, I think YouTube's finally coming through. No, no, it's not. <laughs> not through Botrix anyway, but it's coming through on the multi-stream thing, but only on this computer since this is the computer I'm streaming from. But the Botrix extension is not showing the YouTube chat for some reason. <laughs> I 
Oh, fuck. Back, back, back. But anyway, yeah, it's gonna be an order packing stream. It's gonna be a little chill, kind of slow pace. I don't have that many orders to do, but I did just restock some strawberry sweatshirts, so. You know. Okay, quick, YouTube people say something. Apparently to stream on two platforms, you need to be computer sure genius. I could never. <laughs> you sure about that? You sure about that? Yeah, YouTube still not coming through on BotRex. That's so weird, it did before in my last stream. Dude, I don't even know how I would fix that for the future, like. I don't even know. Cause I can only see the chat when I'm actually streaming. So it's like, if I'm gonna, <clears throat> anyway, I'm not gonna want to deal with that now though. It's not something I can really fix when I'm offline though. That's the problem, but it is what it is. Let's pack some orders. I'll just have to have two separate ones open, ew. Cause yeah, I don't have to use bot works. I could use the built-in OBS merged chat, but for some reason it's not working. <laughs> or no, sorry, I, I says I'm not streaming from that computer. But anyway, let's read some alerts. <laughs> Lulu, thank you for the five months. Mockingjay, thank you for the 71 months. Ingrid, thank you for the seven months. Jam, thank you for the eight. Elise, thank you for the seven. Kevin, thank you for the seven. Fallen Angel, thank you for the 27. And Ashley, thank you for the seven months. You can't see our chat. I can't see them merged for some reason. It's being weird. My little extension that merges my chats for me is not showing both. Once a member, always a member. Once a member, always a member. I guess that something's never changed. Can't know that it's me nature. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm zoning out. I'm looking at more bot work stuff, but it's not working. Anouk, thank you for the eight months. And Aroma Tissue, thank you for the eight months as well. This is on a holiday. Today's a holiday for you? Your hair looks pretty today, thank you. I did a very quick crimp because I was flying at the speed of light to finish my hair. I just did like four sections on each side of my head. Done. I don't like the split chat. She needs several long monitors. <laughs> There's a heist happening on Twitch. School started today. That's a late start. 17th? It's weird, it says platform YouTube, yet it only shows me Twitch chat. <laughs> you just gotta like reconnect my YouTube every time, but that's silly. Although it doesn't let me disconnect my YouTube, that's weird. Eh. I guess we'll deal with it. I guess. Rude. Anyway, right now I have 17 orders. So let's pack a little slow. <laughs> Dual stream, yeah. Is the bot dead on YouTube? Oh. Well, 
I don't think so. Just saw a gamble. Hey, Meerkat. Are you using Restream? I'm using Streamlabs. Hey, Andrea. <laughs> Dual stream with an E. Let's fight! This is now a Yu-Gi-Oh stream. How'd the rest of the Copic chart go? Good, actually. I finally got to that yesterday. <laughs> I only filled in one other square incorrectly. <laughs> but I've got my list made of what I want to buy so I can go to the art store and buy stuff. Maybe next week, because tomorrow's my editing day. I'd like to edit the vlog and maybe a couple TikToks. And that'll take up most of my day, so. Well, if it isn't the Miss, if it isn't Miss Bailey J, look who came strutting back to Twitch. <laughs> look who came crawling back. <laughs> Took my Bay Bucks. Hello from Tasmania, Australia. Please vlog when you go to the art store. <laughs> Their Copic display is like close to the till, probably so they can watch it. <laughs> I mean, I could ask, I could be like, is it okay if I film a little bit? <laughs> Hello from Sydney. <laughs> I hate the double chat. I hate it. Ooh, here's the thing. Wait, I gotta make sure it's a moderator on my channel, but. I'll just quickly check that, but I'm pretty sure I already did that because I've already streamed with Bot Ricks. Like, what the hell, man? Did you like my Luna Moth design suggestion I sent on Twitter? Yeah, it was cool. I like mine better. <laughs> that was really neat with the big moon though. Uh, community. Managing moderators. Oh, it's not one. Oh God, but which of these is the real one? <laughs> Add some random person as a moderator. Okay, well that one has its actual logo, but there's a couple of them. If I click this to go to their channel, will it show me? Dude, I hope that's right. <laughs> Could have just added some random person as a moderator. There's a Blick store a few hours away from me and I wanna go really bad to check out their Copics but the roads have been terrible. Like, it's like we forgot we live in Wisconsin and need to de-ice our roads. Has it been like kind of warm? Like, to kind of melt and refreeze? Cause that's the worst. Anyway. It's still not coming through. That's 
fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. How's your star employee? He's working hard. He's working hard, I gotta say. He just finished up the strawberries. And now he's working on Luna Moth. We have a lot of Luna Moth blanks. <laughs> I'm like worried now. I'm like, did I order too many? <laughs> it's scary because it's like, you don't want something to sell out too fast and then people are mad. But if you order too many, like these are not cheap blanks. So I'm like, uh oh. Who did she attempt to mod? Um, the, the chat I use to like merge my two chats, which is not working right now, but. What's a girl to do? We gotta move on. So now I'm like jumping back and forth between YouTube chat and Twitch chat and I like never know where I left off. <laughs> 20 centimeters of snow, it's freezing. Oh, I have a zit there, I shouldn't touch there. Maybe that's why I have a zit there, so I'm touching there, but I'm gonna rub off my Concealer. Hey, Wendy. Working on some commissions, but I feel a nap coming on. I was trying to decide if I wanted to watch your streams on YouTube and Twitch. I decided YouTube is superior. <laughs> I like watching streams on YouTube a little more, but if I'm going to be actively chatting and stuff, I kind of like the Twitch chat. Better. But anyway, Alicia is the first order we're packing. 2XL pink hoodie, chest and sleeves. Okay. I gotta go into the other room to grab them all. 2X hoodie, wait, maybe I should write a few down. It's loud in there. Let's write down a few, like the first few orders, cause these are gonna mostly be sweatshirt orders. So, 2X pink hoodie sleeve. <laughs> Then, 4X chalk hoodie, chest only. 3X pink hoodie, chest only. Pink crew, chest only. That's where the first three were hoodies because usually the hoodies are less popular. Although for 4X, I couldn't get any 4X chocolate crews. So there's only 4X navy crews, 4X navy hoodies. Which is funny, because last time I could only get chocolate crews in 4X, this time I could only get them in 5X. <laughs> so, chocolate hoodie with the sleeves. And let's do one more. 2XL pink hoodie with the sleeves and boots with the fur. Okay, I'm gonna go grab those from the embroidery room. Uh, let's bring one of these bins. Yeah, let's put them in this bin. Loud. 2X pink hoodie. With the sleeve. Ah! Um, 4X chocolate hoodie. Oh, yeah, they're over here. Where can I put these, Christian? Where can I move these somewhere? Up here? Three X pink hoodie. Three X pink crew. Four X chocolate hoodie with the sleeve. Forex chocolate hoodie with a sleeve. These are all sleeves here, is what you were saying? Or maybe it's just behind the navy ones. Thank you. 
and 2x pink hoodie with the sleeve. Hoodie with the sleeve. I should have grabbed these in reverse order because now they're in reverse order. <laughs> I forgot that that's something I do. So I got my bin. I want a Luna Moss sweatshirt, but I'm poor. No. It's been snowing all day. It was up to my knees when I got out of the car. Oh my God, that's a lot. Speaking of the poor thing, I came across the sound bite that was like, stop being poor. So I saved it on TikTok to put, maybe have as a stream sound bite. Oh wait, I should probably have this like down here or something. <laughs> wait, I could put it on the table if I move my crap out of the way. I found Frank the shark squished under my tabletop easel. He was like half under it, half out. And he's like, oh, <laughs> his lower body was squished underneath. Poor Frank. This is Frank. <laughs> Crochet by Amber. Amber, thank you so much for the membership. You win a construction site. <laughs> the embroidery machines are loud. Okay. I don't 2X need hoodie it. with sleeve. Oh, there are more items. Huh. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong order. <laughs> I was like, I thought she got just the sweatshirt. 2XL pink hoodie, right, this is the crew. Wait. Did I grab the wrong thing? Cause I don't need a 2XL pink crew with sleeves. Oops, hold on. <laughs> I did grab one 2X pink hoodie with sleeve, but I think I need two. XL pink hoodie chest and sleeve. Good. Good. We're getting low on these freebie stickers. I've got the final little stack of them. I set aside a few for actual orders and then set aside the remainder for freebies. And then we're out of the duckies. How cold is it in Calgary? Hey, there's no weather widget on my <laughs> thing. No, oh, here's my phone. Only minus 16 right now. Feels like minus 20. I say only because there's was a cold snap here where it was like, feels like minus 45 every day. <laughs> so I'm like, ooh, only feels like minus 21, it says now. That's still cold. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Compared to the cold staff, it's like, oof, some relief. Oh, oops. Scale's not on. Alicia. Okay, we're gonna need poly mailer. Have you decided if there'll be a game stream in January? I don't think there's gonna be one unless it's like a late January. got plans this weekend and so then it, the weekend after is a possibility but then at the same time I'm like just wait till February <laughs> I was thinking a soundbite of Plankton saying steamy would be so good for chat first time watching a stream on a device that can chat usually watch on my TV miss Frank poor Frank Bailey and I are twinning also wearing my pink strawberry sweater while watching the stream <laughs> Strawberry Sweater Club. OK, 
Okay, now I should be able to hit the scale thing. Yes, poly small. Create and print label. I'm thirsty. Thirsty. Hasn't snowed here at all, and that makes me a sad panda. I gotta read some more recent ones. I'm like trying to scroll back and read comments I missed, but I'm like, those were posted like five minutes ago. I don't know if Vancouver got the same amount as Chilliwack, but the snow is also up to my knees. It's still going. I think if there was that much snow in Vancouver, we would have heard about it from our friends because they've been going nuts about snow, <laughs> but like not like as in nuts about forecasted snow. I don't know if any has actually come down yet. I'm assuming at least some. Oh, I see a picture. Oh yeah, there's that's actually pretty good dumping. The one Chris posted, that's a lot. Especially for Vancouver standards, like that's nuts. Okay, now we need that 4X chocolate hoodie. Chest only. For Kelsey. I really need to reduce my variance for the strawberry sweatshirts because then I can have them all in one listing too. Because I could go down to just pink because sandstone's not very popular. So I could go down to just pink and then for like 4X and 5X, maybe just do navy. Well, which is better, the navy or the chocolate? Uh, the chocolate's harder to get my hands on, I guess. So maybe navy. But then it's like, am I still doing sleeve and no sleeve or should I just make them all sleeves? Because I got to simplify it at some point. Because right now I have like 70 variants. Technically, there's been more than 70 because. Well, we dropped indigo, but then added. Yeah, I guess it's probably still about 70 variants. I got to reduce. <laughs> That's why Ludomoth is nice. It's chest only. And then we had crew. We had crew and hoodie still, but like chest only. And there's one color for each size. That's it. Or did I have two colors for 4X, 5X? I know I have black. Ugh, I don't know. Something I was thinking of doing, which would be nice, is like once a year I do like a get it on black event where there's like one listing. Cause that way I can have like all my black blanks in stock there. And then you choose which design you want and you can get it on black. And so it'd be limited to whatever black blanks I have. That'd be tricky knowing how many to order. But then it could be like, they'd have to be kind of made to order in a sense, but so it might take a while. It'd be kind of like a pre-order, but it's limited because I could only put up what I physically have for stock. But it would be a neat idea for if you like want one of the existing designs, but on black. midnight event yay male cat but do white not black like for a male cat one or for like the event white is tricky because it's so easily stained i think a lot of people would not want white hi there got back into pokemon go and i was out in the cold lol my boyfriend got my boyfriend to play too he already had an account but did not play in a while <laughs> that's dedication Just ordered a strawberry hoodie. Thank you. BF is done dealing with the white snow. Time to eat. I'll be back later. <laughs> Great seeing your username on Twitch again. Are the hoodie, are these hoodies only orders? Oh, hoodie only orders. There's crew necks. I, I mean, it's a mix there. Sorry. I think you mean like plus other stuff. Some people are getting just the sweatshirt. Some people are getting sweatshirt plus stuff. I'm just going in the order of the, how the orders are placed, but most of them will have a sweatshirt because I just did the restock on Monday. Um, okay, Forex hoodie. I got distracted by my combo, <laughs> but that's good. We want to take it slow. We got to take it slow. Cause I don't have that many orders to get through, but that's nice versus like if it's a shop update and I'm like, <laughs> 
I'm like trying to stream, but also trying to pump out the orders. Makes my little goth heart happy. Personally spill on myself every time I eat and avoid wearing my white sweaters if I know I'm eating. I have been like that recently too. Like, I feel like for the last year or two, I've been spilling on myself so much. And so I will swap out of sweaters. Like I didn't put this on till right before the stream started. I was wearing my dark gray Twitch zip up and then swapped into it last minute so I wouldn't get food or anything on there. <laughs> or I do the fold up thing like I mentioned. I'll just like fold up my sweater over my chest. So it's like just the underside of the sweater showing like a bib. Custom subscription longer than 45 characters. Oh, oh, Ooh. right. Cause there's some new variants here. We have to go into the ship station products. See which don't have the customs info input. I just look at the harmonization code and scroll till I see a blank. Wait, sassy Santa reusable bag for pieces is missing info. What? <laughs> I've been selling those. I guess it never gave me an error because it wasn't too long, but it's missing info. So like on the customs form, it wouldn't have an HS code. Okay. I'm gonna say set of four nylon bags. The code is, oh God, it's the long one. 3923.29.90. Zero. Country of origin, China. Apply to open orders. Okay, and then we have like the chocolate hoodies because the first time we've had chocolate hoodies available, so that's a new, a new one. And I think the cruise in 5X will also be a new one technically. Wait, because each variant will get its own, so this is chest only, okay. Six one one zero point two zero is the HS code. I say country of origin Canada for the sweatshirts because I'm basically buying like the parts. Well, technically I bought the sweaters from Canada too, but I don't think they're they're not sewn in Canada. But I bought them from a Canadian supplier. Plus I'm like, I've assembled the supplies and then we make the sweater. So the final product is Canada for country of origin. I don't think that matters to most places. Like none of the Americans ever have to pay customs on my orders. Those little lucky bitches. When I order from the States, I pay customs, but my customers don't have to pay customs for some reason. Maybe you, the US is just more lenient. Owl, thank you for the five months. Lydian, thank you for the eight months. And Kimbran, thank you for the four months. <laughs> Just don't eat sauces while wearing white. Hey, Sarah. I wore my favorite white jumper on Christmas day and somehow managed to spill red wine down the back of it. I think white things are s somehow magnets to stains. So wait, wait, did someone else spill their wine on you? How do you get it on the back? What's your best packing time? A hundred per hour? No. Maybe a hundred in a day. Well, no, I've done, I've done, I've hit 200 in a day, but that was like during simpler times. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. Okay, what's this one? With the sleeves, okay. Uh, 6110.20. Oh yeah, if it's country origin Canada, I can just hit C. There we go. Okay. Now chocolate crew chest customs. Sweatshirt. I could have done this before the stream, but I totally forgot that these were new variants. Okay, this is with sleeves, sweat shirt. 
zero. You would think ShipStation could just get the customs information from Shopify, but the Shopify API probably doesn't allow that. Because I put all this information into the product listing on Shopify. But then I have to do it again in ShipStation, but it won't let me do it until someone actually purchases that item. <laughs> so. Oh God. Oh, those are all the discounted ones. Okay, I was like, there's a huge batch of sweaters here. But I think I just did those like as the order came up, I just typed it in on the order. Okay, because those are like one of a kind. I think we should be good for now at least. <laughs> okay, so this was Kelsey's. Simpler times don't exist anymore. <laughs> hey Blaze. You called me Owl. Yeah, I can't always full name everybody. <laughs> Never had to pay customs on anything. I don't think it's something we do here. No matter the country, even if it's something expensive. I just thought you guys had a high threshold, like you have to spend like a thousand dollars to pay customs or something. My friend loved the little ducky pin. I got her for Christmas. She put it on her purse and every time she comes to work, it makes me smile. Funny enough, we've been friends since high school, both turned art majors at the same college. Aw, you're the two little duckies swimming in the water. Had to pay customs once eight years ago. <laughs> that's what, I think that's what must have happened. Must have been someone else. Cause I wear, I swear I was drinking white. Wait, drinking white wine and you had like red wine on your back? Definitely not you. Bailey inspired me to go through my Copics and fill out a new chart and write down markers that need to be replaced and refills. And I lost five markers because of crystallization. No. Oh, my YouTube chat scrolled up now. It's just full of the bot. The heist, get out of here, heist. Did you say Ludomoth sweater is out? It says sold out. Yeah, we haven't, uh, Christian's just starting on those now. We I just restocked the strawberry ones. Ludomoth's been sold out for a while now. Cause we've been working on the straws. And now we're back to Ludomoth, get more of those made. And then we can do something new. <laughs> the Copics crystallize, yeah. Some of them it's not too bad. Like you can just replace the nib or something. But those anniversary markers, there's something else. The way they dry out is just In different. They're just built different. <laughs> also, I haven't done anything more than a few sketches in over a year. It makes me so sad. Definitely want to get back into making art this year. Same. Well, I did more than a few sketches, but not much more. <laughs> oh, William, thank you for the six months. And Lily, thank you for gifting five memberships. Lily pad. Thank you. My partner calls me Al, so I like it. <laughs> Would love more sketchbook designs. Oh, there's, I've got two in the works with my manufacturer right now. It'll probably be a while till they're available, but like I designed a Halloween one and I've already ordered it because it takes that long. <laughs> and the other one is Luna Moth. So when I drop the other Luna Moth items, the sketchbook will not be part of it. It'll kind of be like strawberry drop where it comes later, but it'll probably be like even later. Cause the strawberry sketchbooks ended up coming like two or three weeks after I did my strawberry update, but this will be a bigger gap. Probably depends when I get all my product in. I've pretty much everything ordered except stickers. And if I'm going to do any prints, like I'm like, should I make the sunset art a print? I could do a limited quantity. Cause I'm, cause then I would also order a few more of the ducky little ducky ones, like maybe a hundred of them. Cause the little ducky ones sold fast, at least for like the five by sevens. And then I only had eight by tens left. 
which took a long time to sell, but the five by sevens were way more popular. For Sydney, 3X pink hoodie, chest. That's this one. Bailey, I'm back, it's me, Kristen. Kristen, it's Kristen over here. Kristen with a Q U, a or just Q W. I was supposed to say Q U W, and then I was like, wait, <laughs> that's not right. The little pot's so cute, you should do a sticker. The little one that I was gonna make a sticker, and then I was like, it turned out too ugly. Well, it's not ugly, but not sticker material. <laughs> Kristen, thank you for the eight months. I'm in into the sunset one. Our daughter's nursery is covered in your prints. Been playing a lot of house flipper too lately. Are you gonna make pictures for free? Like prints? No. This ain't a charity. <laughs> How long do you think till the embroidery machines have paid for themselves? So one of them for sure. Wait, I forget my numbers. Well, I have like rough numbers. Let me see. Just finish off this one. Oops. I wrote down like my top sellers for different product types, which I talk about in the vlog a bit, so I don't want to like spoil it all right now. But let me see. I wrote these down like around New Year's. Actually, wait, I wrote these numbers New Year's Eve, so it wasn't even quite the end of year numbers, but I was like, there's maybe like one more order gonna come in before midnight, if that. So maybe they are accurate. So you don't have like sweatshirts combined, but I have them separate. Yeah, if you look at like, cause this is gross revenue. If you go with like net, probably one machine is paid off. Oh yeah, and this is USD. Oh yeah, yeah. Then for sure one machine paid off. You think you'll do new pin designs or is it something you're planning to focus on less as you do embroidery? I have two new pins ordered. One Luna Moth, one Strawberry. Cause I didn't really do much for pins. Like I had the Witch Hat one in 2022. And then last year I only did Little Ducky. I restocked Bunkin with that, or was the Bunkin restock also 2022? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember when the Bunkin restock was, but that's just a restock. For new pins, I only did little duckies for 2023. So I wanna do more. So I've got a couple ordered. Cause of work, I had to watch the Copic live stream the next days and it was so nice while sorting through my model kit paints and swatching them as well. <laughs> had my OR rotation yesterday, I almost passed What's out a watching a mastectomy. <laughs> oh no. Finally hitting two years after many more following Baya Beha Bay Shine. <laughs> Catenary, thank you for the 24 months. Two years hype. <laughs> the text to speech still throws me off every time. <laughs> Can't wait for strawberry pin. Excited about Luna pin. Hey Bronwyn. Sometimes I just treat my sketchbooks as brain dumps. So it's okay if a page doesn't work out. Yeah, I have a problem like with my sketchbooks that I made cause they have the thick paper. I'm like, oh, it needs to be like full color stuff. And then I'm like, no, it doesn't. And you literally have like a thousand of them. <laughs> I, I literally do actually have a thousand of them. <laughs> Not that they're all mine, 
but it's like, why would I stop myself? Especially since I don't, I'm not like an everyday sketcher. So I'm like, but I still like my, I have like my two sketchbooks that I'm like, oh, these are for nice things. Want a member? Even though a member. I do have little planning doodles in them too, but I grabbed a, a new witch hat one that I'm bringing upstairs. Well, I already brought it upstairs, but it's gonna be like my couch sketchbook. And so hopefully less pressure in that one. <laughs> There's supposed, there's not supposed to be any pressure for a sketchbook, but. <laughs> Amelia, thank you for the six months. When our Luna Moth sweater is getting restocked, probably in about like a month. Christian's work he just started on them, so. Like he just finished up strawberries yesterday and started on Luna Moth yesterday. So like not even a full day of Luna Moths yet. So yeah, they're in the works and we have, I have a lot of them. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go through all of them though. Like, like I might, we might do half of them and then get them up. I guess I never really gave Christian my plan of what I wanted him to do. Tulip bun sweater, oh, that could be cute. Ugh. Even like a, a different version, not like the illustration, but it could be simplified where there's still like a bunny and then like some detached tulips or something. I just really, I would love to do a tulip one. <laughs> but I'm also trying to think of like what the Halloween one would be and think ahead to get those made. Well, I've done like a rough planning of my Halloween collection because I needed to know what the sketchbook was gonna look like, so. I got real self-conscious about like my fingers even. <laughs> I don't know why. Garbage pickup was yesterday morning. Apparently it was so cold and snowy they would and they wound up not coming and neighbor's garbage boxes are still out on the curb. I mean, if they're gonna come, like sometimes if they miss a pickup, they might come like next day or their next free day. I don't know. I used to have a lot of missed collections in Vancouver cause our street was always closed for construction. Employees should be kept in the loop, yeah. Subject of next design, Luna Moth. Or oh, for sweatshirt, I don't know. But in general, Luna Moth. <laughs> Although I have some like, oh God, it's hard to not just spoil the entire vlog by talking about stuff. But I guess like most people who watch the vlog are not watching this, but. New product type ordered. Sticky notes, which has been requested. For a while I was like, I wanna focus on some like bigger things and I wanna to go to smaller things like sticky notes. But now that I have some bigger things, sticky notes, it was like an impulse. I just spent a day whipping some up. Would love a bumblebee design. Yes, that is actually also something I would love to do. Ah. It's hard to not like to not turn an idea into a full collection because I was like, okay, my main collections for the year are gonna be like Luna Moth and then Halloween. And then everything else will just be kind of like random stuff. But things like bees, I would love a whole collection. <laughs> but it's something that can kind of come out slowly. Like think of my video game design. There was a washi tape and a sticker sheet at first. Then later there was a planner pad. Then later there was the shopping bag. So like, some of the designs just come out gradually over time, spread apart. Doesn't have to be a collection all at once. Bunny bee, I think I actually sketched something like that once. Like a bumble bun. Wait, was it in here? 
No, it might not be. I don't usually sketch in this. This is for like shop stuff, but sometimes I do. Like I did some strawberry design doodles in here and Luna Moth. Oh, here. Well, I think I might've shown this in a vlog unless I cut the clip. Cause I did, there's like a strawberry bun idea. And then there's, oh, bun bulbie is what I called it. Bun bulbie. <laughs> oh, and then there's gonna maybe make one that says I heart buns. <laughs> but in the heart is a little bunny. So it like sounds perverted at first. And then a little artsy, mostly fartsy. I also wrote 1% artsy, 99% fartsy. <laughs> Sounds like SpongeBob. 1% evil, 99% hot gas. There's a bunch of kitties in a circle holding hands. <laughs> Some butt cheeks, I don't know why I drew that. Oh, and a strawberry that has like butt cheeks at the top. <laughs> uh. I always watch the vlog too and don't care if I've heard the things on stream before. Half the time I've forgotten by the time the vlog comes out anyway. <laughs> Same about the vlog. Did you do your daily on your mobile game? <laughs> Working on it. Wait, I gotta plant something new. Thank you. I was supposed to harvest my carrots before the stream started. Bumblebee's so cute. <laughs> the question is, is it like viewed from the front or is it kind of like a three quarters so you can see the stinger? Like butt out. Um, oh, I need to collect two more cans. One. Oh, the other one's in the works. And spend metal. Oh yeah, collect my teacups. Those are in the works, I think. Yeah. The C-Nut Latte. Spend kelp at this place. done <laughs> and spend metal done but also I'm going to plant like some sea berries or something something that takes two hours oh I missed one of my squares of land when I planted my carrots uh, let's plant tomatoes I mostly, I'm not doing like all the daily stuff. I'm mostly prioritizing the worm, the Alaskan bullworm. So I can do land expansion, you know? Wait, I already have two sandwiches. Then why did I make two more? Whatever. Make a couple salads now that I have my carrots. Okay. Will the indigo sweater crew neck be restocked? No, I'm not doing indigo anymore. Cause, well, it wasn't very popular to begin with. And I think it was like the least good looking of them all. There is navy though. Free the butt. Petition for butt out. Got an hour left of work. That was a real intimate look into how your brain works with those sketches. I need I heart bun sticker. Wait, what if the sticker was like a bunny with his butt showing, like with butt cheeks, and then it said I heart buns. <laughs> what level are you on in the SpongeBob game? Like my numerical level or like which area? I'm level 45, and in terms of areas, I'm at the chum bucket. Sounds like a kitty coven. Any game streams in January? Likely not, because I'm busy this coming weekend. So there's always the weekend after. Let me look at a calendar. 
Eh. At that point, I would rather just wait till February 3rd or something to get them back at the start of the month. We'll see. Guess what today is? It's my day. Wait, like a birthday? Or... <laughs> if so, happy birthday! Bun Bun as a hot guy. He's got them buns, yes? <gasps> happy birthday! <laughs> now you're one year older. I'm 24 in the medieval. <laughs> I really prioritize those order fulfilling challenges for a while and those really make you level up i'm also trying to clear out the areas before i move on at least like mostly clear them out for resources although i might give up on that as i get to higher level areas because then the resources like it costs so much but you don't get that much in return at that point you're better off just dispatching your pets so chum bucket might be the last one i fully clear out Oh, I'm leaving behind the kelp vine because there's like no use for kelp vine. <laughs> okay. Christina. Hey, from Surrey. 3XL, pink crew chest. <laughs> For birthday twins. <gasps> Happy birthday, Nuni! I don't know why I keep putting the sticker on the top. Usually I go like this. Are you gonna get a new Samsung phone or are you gonna wait till you break this one? I just got this phone. This is a brand new phone. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about getting a new phone. Wonder who Bailey's oldest fan is. Weeps in 45. Have you designed a new freebie sticker yet? No. <laughs> Part of me is tempted to just give up and like use some existing art for it, but. Cause part of me is like, remember I did that little creep artwork that was inspired by Midna up on like the loft area and you can see her through the railing. I never did anything with that. And I was debating making it in a sticker and then I was like, nah. Well, I'm like, well then maybe make it the freebie sticker. Although I don't know if you'll see the eyes if it's that small. My tummy's full. I ate a lot of pizza pops. <laughs> I was like, I'm determined to not get hungry on stream. So I was scarfing them down before the stream started. But I had just had coffee. So I was like, oh, <laughs> now I'm having more coffee. Those Canadian postal codes are so big on the label that I'm like, flip it. Okay, for Jamie, 4X chocolate hoodie, chest and sleeves. Excuse me. I have to get a new phone. Why is trying to pick a new phone feel as overwhelming as when you're trying to find something in the card care aisle? There's just so much with phones and like, they're so expensive. It's like, you really want to make sure you're making the right choice, you know? I mean, unless you get an older model, it's cheaper, but. A free B, B sticker. <laughs> An epic person just came through my register with a Meowtallica shirt. Oops. I had printed off the label without actually putting it in a bag. 
The hoodies are a bit too big for this. The hoodies are so thick. They got the hood, they got the pocket. And for some reason that just adds extra. 440 on YouTube, 92 on Twitch watching. Whoa. My phone sucks, but it was free, so. <laughs> there you go. This cat I was commissioned to draw has so many spots and it's killing me. This is gonna take half of my life. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bailey. Like I don't need another reason to invade Canada like pizza pops. See, part of me feels like pizza pops aren't even that good if you are not used to them. Like, <laughs> especially cause I just microwave them so they're kind of soggy. You can put them in the toaster oven for a bit, but like, <laughs> I feel like people would try them and be like, what the fuck is this? But I'm like, <laughs> I was thinking a bee stick or two, maybe on a flower. Doing the dreaded deed of rebleaching my hair only takes like blah, 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 hours. <laughs> Me not wanting to read that number out loud. <laughs> I ain't deciphering that. Pizza pops are all nostalgia. <laughs> Currently reinstalling the original Sims discs. Then I have to read a blog post on how to get them to work on Windows 11. Hope it works. <laughs> hey, Fi. Oh. Your picture is like a face, I thought. Like the flesh tones in your profile picture were like a woman's body. And then her like underneath chin, I thought that was like her panties. I thought, <laughs> and cause the eyes look like boobs. <laughs> so from a distance, I'm like, is that a topless woman as your profile picture? <laughs> Hi, Heather. <laughs> the Sims is life. I noticed your ring cone is empty. Did you forget it again? The ring is just upstairs. I just left it in my jewelry organizer upstairs because I knew I'd be packing orders today. So I didn't even put it on. Hmm. This order has a little ducky sticker sheet in it. 2X pink hoodie, chest and sleeve. Daisy girl enamel pin. This is for Shannon, by the way. Strawberry washi. I refilled all this stuff last night. Satisfying. <laughs> Feels so full, so stocked. Mail cat notepad. And a dainty flower notepad. And a little ducky sticker sheet. So, I had some witch hat stickers I had found which were like missing for a long time. Cause I remember someone ordered like 10 witch hat stickers and I had like three left. And I was like, I can't send you all those. So I like refunded her and gave her some other stickers or something. But I was still felt so bad. And then like a year later, I find the freaking witch hat stickers. <laughs> so anyway, I was using those as the freebie if someone had this already in their order but now I'm out of the witch hats. So I'm just grabbing like llama girl or something. I got a lot of these left, so. There you go. <laughs> you might already have this, but here you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, the same is true for the ducky sticker sheet. Someone might already have it. Now this can fit in here, just barely. <laughs> Two notepads barely fits in these sleeves. And if I'm in a hurry, I won't even bother, but I'm not in a hurry, so let's just do it. I was so sad I ordered some stuff right before Christmas. There's a bunch of stuff I'd been wanting that had sold out. Sucks only having money like once a year. Oh God, this is kind of tight. Maybe I should just go bigger sleeve. Ah! <laughs> that 
the oh that goes in recycling not the trash this sticker sheet was kind of buckling we'll just do this This is not as pretty, but it's something. Actually, wait, keep this out since it's the freebie sticker. Hey, Davili. Davili Morrow. This is how art works. This is how real art works. You see this? I'm doing well. How are you? Masterpiece. Masterpiece, okay? Look, this is what we call art, okay? Have you encountered any Sephora kids? I don't go to Sephora, so I haven't seen any, but that's all over my TikTok for you page. <laughs> uh, I'm like so entertained by the whole drama of it all. This could probably all just go in here. I'm tempted to make little sticker labels that say the rest of your products are in here or something. Remaining products inside or just, I don't know, some kind of notice. Cause then once I seal this, I could put the sticker on the seal and that way they know their stuff is inside. Although here you can kind of see the paper peeking out. Bailey is getting some of my tax return. I've already made plans. <laughs> so pumped for the Lunamoth sketchbook. I'm at the stage where I'm too afraid to ruin my good sketchbooks with crap sketches. Mm-hmm. I was saying how I feel the same about my sketchbooks, even though I have like a bunch of them. Like I could... If I fill it up with crap sketches, just start a new one. But I'm like, no. You can call me Davi. I'm on vacation. Ooh. What about the Stanley cups? I have a Stanley pitcher. So basically I win. Stanley cups are too small. I like my Stanley pitcher. I actually haven't used it yet. Stanley's are too small. I only use mana water bottles. I've been using this baby forever. <laughs> well, I don't like straws, so. Like, I mean, I like straws, but like a water bottle with a straw, I feel like it's just like a breeding ground for like your mouth mildew stuff. Look down at mine and see some orange around the mouthpiece. Although that could be pizza pops because I was drinking water while eating pizza pops. I did just wash the lid in the, the dishwasher to sterilize it. Like I don't want to have to screw the top off and I don't want a straw. Like those Contigos, like the old style Contigo where you just push the button on the back and drink those were so good. Like, why did they stop making those? It's one-handed. This one is kind of too small of a mouthpiece and like the hole for pressure equalization is also too small. So it gets really glug gluggy. But then like this little groove splits so wide that it runs down the side of my mouth. So this is not really perfect either. And so if I'm drinking a lot of water, I just take the lid off, but. Like it goes glug, 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 glug as it's coming out because the air hole's too small. Mm -hmm, Not the mouth mildew. Will you ever make calendars? 
Probably not, unless I get to the point where I'm creating like a ridiculous amount of full color illustrations a year because you would need 12 full color illustrations and they would have to be somewhat cohesive. I mean, they don't really have to be, but like, they have to be something that fits on the calendar first of all. So either landscape or square, depending how you're doing it. You can't use anything vertical unless you're willing to crop top and bottom. And it's like, it's gotta be 12 good things. Like that's just a lot of work. Remember the pink clear water bottle you lost at D23? Don't remind me. Also, I think that was, wait, have I lost multiples? I lost one at San Japan. I left it under my seat. <sighs> in one of the big ballrooms. Had my Yeti for over eight years, still going strong. I do have a Yeti now because I got gifted one from the company I get my sweatshirt blanks from, but it does have a screw top. But you only have to do like one spin and the lid is off, which is nice. So I've been kind of torn. I'm like, I should probably at least try it. Cause I like how this just kind of pops open, but like I said, the mouth is mouthpiece is too small. I could probably just drill this hole bigger, but then this plug might not work. But I feel like the mouthpiece also needs to be bigger. I don't know, man. I know it's terribly out of fashion, but I just have a giant ass water bottle from Walgreens. <laughs> Reusable calendar. How would that work? Yeah, how would that work? I sell refill sheets every year. <laughs> See, I'm currently reusing a calendar, but it's like a 2017 calendar. So it's been years since I looked at the artwork. Okay, I have to go grab more sweatshirts. Where was that paper? Here. Write them in reverse order. Okay, so 5X chocolate crew. Oh my God. I'm being assaulted by hiccups. And 4X Navy crew with the sleeves. Five X chocolate crew chest. Three X pink crew chest only. Forex chocolate hoodie with the sleeves. Forex navy hoodie. And let's do one more. Five X chocolate hoodie with the sleeves. Would you ever sell colander? <laughs> Wait, was that the same comment I read before but I didn't realize it said colander? I'm gonna leave that to the kitchen supply people. I had two very similar thermal cups. Don't know if that's how you say it when you keep the temperature. It could be, I don't know. I know like the term thermos, but these ones are not thermoses. What about sieves? I found your book online and got it today. I was surprised I still had a few after so many years and especially here in Poland, so happy. Ah, thank you for getting it. That is awesome. In Poland, ooh. No, it was a typo, Elameo. <laughs> Wait, Heather also said colander. Wait, Heather, I was reading. <laughs> I was reading Rinna's comment on Twitch. Rinna also said colander. 
two people did. Gotta love autocorrect. <laughs> Did you ever accidentally send someone the wrong shirt? Yes. I had two people whose I messed up. It was like I sent one person's sweater to the other person. But then the other person's... Wait, were they just each other's sweaters? Or was one wrong altogether? I can't remember. But I did do that. <laughs> Which is devastating because they're not cheap. Autocorrect wishes for you to sell colanders. <laughs> the Navy's beautiful. I wear it every week. <laughs> it does look really good on Navy. It does. Okay, let me go grab these. Hmm, sounds awfully quiet over here. Ah, he's doing names on one, chests on another. Nice. Just make sure it's still somewhat centered here because sometimes the shoulders are not even on both sides. Yeah. Just an approximate Yeah, I see. Oh my God, it feels so open in here without the heat press. And you can get a nice little stack going. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, that stack going does interfere with anything else I have. So much room for activities. Yeah, it's way better without that. I could just grab him, fling him across the desk. Wait, I could just go like this and throw everything off. You'd have to go the other way, otherwise you'd just be throwing everything against the wall. That's fine. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. Bay shine, bay shine, bay shine. Bay shine, bay shine, bay shine. Okay, 5X chocolate hoodie with the sleeves. Wait, these? Yeah, these are the sleeve ones. Is this Ch hoodie? This is <laughs> not a Christian chocolate. company at all. <laughs> Sorry, the sound bites coming through. This is not a Christian company at all. I just tell Christian. Okay, 4X Navy hoodie. What the hell are you <laughs> talking about? 4X chocolate hoodie with the sleeves. Where are you? Oh wait, I know where they are. 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies, 55 cokes. I better not break a nail. That's my goal for the day because I'm gonna paint them tonight. But I have three unpainted nails, so they're at risk of snapping. Okay, that was chocolate hoodie with a sleeve. Okay, 3X pink so crew. sad. X chocolate crew. So some of them are in down here. Yeah. Wait. Do you need access? Yeah, I do. So what are for the Luna Mox, which ones are you starting with? I'm just doing smalls right now. Because that's happened to be what I started yeah. with the names. Because I would say do about half of each size. Like, don't do all the smalls. Maybe do like half of them and then move on to mediums and do half of them. I can make you a chart if you want numbers. Because that way yeah. you don't have to recount them. <laughs> I'll right. just go based off what I ordered. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Have yeah. them been counting it, but just do names. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, where were we? Just because we have so many blanks, if I wait to restock till we do all of them, it's like about, uh, <laughs> two months from now. Hoodies. A few hoodies in some sizes. Yeah, hoodies and crews, yeah. Half of everything. 
of what do you mean like I don't care about hoodie versus crew just do half like half the hoodies half the crews for each size like if there's okay, so that might end up being like 12 crews and six hoodies then yeah, because there's hoodies. yeah, because there should be more crews than hoodies, oh, yeah, so that's accurate. I haven't seen any hoodies yet in the delivery. It's just everything left over from before. There's a lot of hoodies. Okay. So like yeah, so like you said, if there's like forty, yeah, like you said, twelve and six, then do like six and three. You know what I'm saying? Just do half of what we've got. But there will be more crews because they're more popular than the hoodies. Yeah. Yeah, I Although I think some of them like XL, I think I don't have any XL crews right now. Oh, I gotta place that order. <gasps> I got it. I've got stuff in my cart. I gotta just place the order now. If it's still there. <laughs> Please still be there. Okay, 3X pink crew. 5X chocolate crew. Right. Forex Navy crew. That's all I need. Uh oh. These are all the sleeveless? Oh no, it does say sleeve. Oh. That was, ugh, okay. Wait, some of these might not have spares set aside, like the new ones. Oh. Oopsie. Nobody's order better go missing. Wait, this doesn't have sleeve. No, 4X crew is all in their sleeve and not sleeve. Uh, okay. Can you dig me out one with this? <laughs> I'm gonna break a nail. These are tight, so tight in there. <laughs> Thanks. And a 5X chocolate crew. <laughs> Those might be the last 5X chocolate crews. I don't see any more in there. I swear the 4X, 5X is selling better than the 2X, 3X. <laughs> But that's probably because people who get 4X, 5X have fewer choices, you know, like fewer places they can buy from. So when you finally can get something, it's like, yoo-hoo! Hell yeah! <laughs> Forget Christian Grey, we got Bailey Jane! <laughs> Hi, Christy. My PG ears. Oh, the name of the artist that produced the calendars is Jessica Rue. R-O-U-X. I would definitely not want Bay to read mine. Read what? Oh. Oh, remind me to leave a note if I ever order a sweatshirt for Bailey not to read what size she's packing. I mean, I just say first name. They won't know it's you. Recently, eating, I eating a curry and problem. It was so tasteless. It tasted if nothing and the chicken was drier than hell. I was so sad. Unfortunately, it's demise in the bin. <laughs> Oversized wear is in right now, even if someone who's normally medium is ordering a 4X size. That would be very long, at least for these. Well, the hoodies are long. <laughs> I have one that's a messed up one that I wear as like a little, well, I will wear it as a sweater or as a blanket, but I mean like as a bib if I'm doing something messy. I might be upstairs. Or My wait. <gasps> farts. <laughs> wait. They smell much better than her. She was lucky to have oh, okay, my good. farts sprayed onto her body. 
I was like, the one sitting over there better not be the messed up one because that's the one I showed on my TikTok. And if I even showed the, <laughs> the messed up one on TikTok. But yeah, I think that one I have is like 3X or something. That messed up one, it's like almost down to my knees. I know for damn well that like most of the people in my life just cozy, just do not take showers because they're just inferior and completely nasty. <gasps> I got a little tiki over here. What are you doing over there? She's rubbing her cheek on the sweater bin. Cheek cheek. Come here, tiki. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, look at the baby. And then there's in her little kitty bed over there. Hi, Minis. Go see the camera. Walk out onto my arm. My arm would probably get tired real fast. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. You're ripping out my hair. Yeah. My camera's a little lower than usual, so I'm trying to make it so we can at least see a decent amount of the table. So I actually moved the order counter down. It used to be up here. But I moved it down. Okay, maybe don't put your arm out like that. <laughs> I was like, Kiki, walk across it. No. How about, let's not. How are the kitties? Good. Good little babies. Good little babies. I don't know the lore behind these voice alerts. <laughs> the My Farts and the Showers one, it's from like a, a video Perry made, like Perry Pickles, one of our viewers, made, made a couple Bailey J movies. And those sound bites are from the movie, so that's Perry's voice. And it's spoken from my point of view. So when it says like, my farts, it's as if I'm speaking. Get ready to have those bells jingled. <laughs> Same with that one. <laughs> oh, she's purring. Do you think Sadie would be BFFs with Maddie and Ben? Possibly. She'd be a little vicious at first, I feel like. But then maybe they'd be besties after they get to know each other. Hey, Ash. Oh, that was so long ago, but I remember now. <laughs> Meow. I know for damn well. Meow. That, like, most of the people in my live streams just do not take showers because they're just inferior and completely nasty. Hey, hell. Speaking of cats, my for you page is all this orange cat who won't stop crying till they get their pup cup. <laughs> baby. Sounds like a spoiled baby. Yo. Why, baby, why? Just gotta go from shoulder to shoulder. My hair has no safe place to go. Hey, Zodi. Ooh, a black kitten. Her name is Kiki. She's a domestic short hair. She's a very loving cat, and she's... No, she's not loving cat yet. She's pet of the week at the Brazo County Animal Shelter. She's a very loving cat. There it is. <laughs> she's eight years old. No, how are you eight already? Bubble. I used her fur to make this. Just kidding, I did not. Are you just gonna hang out there now? All right. The 
This is the Kiki show after all. <laughs> Looking good parrot emoji. She's so cute. Hello from Netherlands. Hey, Fallen. What a precious void. <laughs> She's very clingy. She likes her pets. She's a bit scared of strangers, though. She's very shy, but... At least with us, she's very cuddly, very sweet. And when she wants pets, she wants you to pet her for like 20 minutes straight. Which lately she wants at nighttime when I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, how rude. Can I pack some orders now? Bless you. Your treats aren't gonna pay for themselves, Kiki. One of us has to work. She, she went with her tail when I said that. How dare you? How dare? <laughs> my shoulder hurts. I gotta put my arm down, Kiki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. all over my face now too <laughs> it's clinging to my skin it's gonna get my eyes <laughs> I swear they love shoving their butts in your face <laughs> She wants to share. <sighs> no more shoulder boob time. Kitty on my titty. Okay. When my cats or my rat sneezed right after Kiki. <laughs> How do you prevent cat hair from getting everywhere? Or do you just embrace it? <laughs> just embrace it. Wipe surfaces down. It's all over my sweater now, though. <laughs> Blint roll your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Ashley. The chocolate crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharing is caring. My cat tinsels the same way, but with men, he's a ladies' man. <laughs> Domestic short hair, fancy. We call them moggies. <laughs> The tab ripped. Um, I mean, I could probably still tape it to the tape gun, which is where exactly? Usually, it's just sitting on a surface down here. <laughs> Well, yeah, usually it's like right on this table. Where, oh, where can my tape gun be? Oh my god. <laughs> Rainers, hello. Where, wait, where's the rain alert? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like running around looking for my tape gun right now. Oh, it says over here, Monique, but it's not showing up in chat. That's weird. <laughs> Monique, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Just came here from Monique Renee's art stream. 
Should have custom lint rollers made, call them Bailey J. Furaway. <laughs> that is a cute name. Um. Hmm. Christian, have you seen the tape gun anywhere? No, like the one, I mean, I could use that actually. The one that's loaded with tape. It looks kind of like this one, but not this one. It wouldn't be in here unless you were using it. I was just curious if you saw it anywhere. Hmm. I can load some tape into this one. Um, I'm gonna have to open a new roll of tape, I think. A new tower of tape. So usually I have it sitting like on here, but I must have, maybe I went upstairs with it or did we take it out into the garage? <gasps> Is it still out there from when we did the Christmas tree? Potentially. That's been out there a while then. <laughs> or it's sitting on like the porch seat or something, maybe. Like if I brought it in, I would have set it there while I was taking my shoes off and stuff. <sighs> Got it. Ah! Gonna break a nail. Like I said, I have three unpainted. I'm gonna paint them tonight, but when they're unpainted, they're not as durable because this is gel. So if it bends, it'll snap. Have a great stream, everyone. Thank you, thanks for the raid. Oh, she looks alarmed. Oh. Yeah. oh. Exactly what you said it would on the little seat. On the little seat. Well. All right, I guess I'll stop with this one. Abort, abort. But yeah, I accidentally ripped the sticky tab off this, so I'm like, okay, let's just tape it shit. Where's the tape is the quality stream content I've come to expect from Bailey. <laughs> can I do the initial piece just to get it folded over and then I can do a longer piece because otherwise this is going to be too unwieldy. I guess I could just do two small pieces like this. Somehow it switched over to someone else's order. So I was like, wait, did I grab that order? I grabbed the correct one, which is Ashley's. That XL chocolate crew neck chest. Boop. Create and print and label. Define, thank you for the five months. How's Rick doing? Rick is slick. He has been pretty slick. He's doing all right. Just refilled his water tank this morning. I kind of want to paint him. <laughs> Makeover, even though you don't even see him. I do, I see him. And although the gray is a sleigh, it's also kind of not. It's kind of ugly. Rick, you ugly. I mean, what? We are alike in that we have to get to the bottom of the mystery. <laughs> How often do you get orders over 100 USD or CAD? Uh, 
kind of depends. Like right now, about half the orders I have yet to package are over 100. But that's also because it's the sweatshirts, which are higher. If, if people are not getting a sweatshirt, it's a lot more rare for it to hit 100. You post a lot on your Instagram stories. No, I'm not really a stories person. I don't know if I've ever posted to my Instagram stories, to be honest, maybe like once or twice. is for Eli. My mouth is just so dry. Why? We love you, Rick, just the way you are. <laughs> what about Carol? Has she retired? I still have her, but she's basically retired. She's really just for personal use now. I feel like the last time I really got use out of her was Christian's karaoke party when I cut out all those shapes. <laughs> Cause I don't do the freebie stickers with her anymore. Okay, the Forks Navy crew. With sleeves. <laughs> She's a baby, she's a baby. Minu baby. All right, we've seen Kiki, now get over here, Minush. She doesn't like being picked up though. She knows she doesn't like it. There she goes. <laughs> Wait, did it not show the result of the heist? Wait, was there a Twitch heist? What well, weird, because there is a YouTube heist that was successful, but on Twitch it also said, ahoy, Captain Kitty Sakura. Like, like the heist started on Twitch as well. People are fighting over the heist. Cause yeah, on Twitch it says Kitty started it, on YouTube it says Leah started it. So the people who joined the heist on Twitch, maybe it just added you to the YouTube heist. Even though it showed the starting message on both. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> hey, CEO. Since the heist timer is shared, could the bot dual post when one starts? It doesn't, but it would be nice if it did. I mean, it did this time, but I don't know. But it also says two different people started it, so. Because <laughs> as far as I know so far, if someone starts it on YouTube, it doesn't notify on Twitch. There's no settings for that because it's like not really intended for multi-streaming, I guess. You know what I kind of want, even though my tummy feels so full. I wonder if we still have those Java monsters. Because I had Red Bulls and Java monsters. And the Red Bulls were, got drunk, got drank, got drunk, 
got drank. We're drank. We're drunk at Christmas. But I might still have the Java Monster. That'd be kind of delish. Although I'm not even done my coffee. <laughs> Based on my point count, seems I won. <laughs> That's what I mean. If someone starts on one, let it post to both. There's no setting for that. The numbers in the background, that's how many orders I have gotten in my shop since I opened it. Uh, it's one bot. Because here's the thing. I could go back to MooBot for Twitch, but then it's like, you still wouldn't have the heists or anything. I could, I mean, there might be something in MooBot that, that I could set up that's similar, but I'm not gonna pay for MooBot Premium. So if there's anything premium, I'm not doing it. But here's the problem though. The soundbite redemptions. Twitch users would not be able to redeem sound bites or anything like that. So they're gonna have to share a bot. Unless Streamlabs is specifically for point redemption. Well, no, because then I can't toggle off the other commands for Streamlabs for Twitch because it's shared YouTube and Twitch. So if I change a setting for the bot, it changes it for YouTube and for Twitch. You know what I'm saying? What size crew is the one you're wearing? I am wearing a large. Hello from England, Bailey. Hello, everyone. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Angie. Hi, Blackberries. <laughs> Love your vids. Would you do Shopify or Wix for starting an online business? I have done Wix, although I quickly switched over to Shopify, but I don't know what kind of integrations Wix has these days because I wanted to use Chit Chats, which I couldn't use with Wix, which is why I went to Shopify. But now I don't even use Chit Chats. <laughs> But I still think Shopify wins overall because it's literally built for online shops. Whereas Wix started out as like, we're a website designer, but now we're also making it so you can do a shop, you know, like Shopify is like the big wig, like the place to have an online store. Um, but if you're just starting out, you don't necessarily need the big, but it's kind of nice because then you can just stay there. You know what I'm saying? Instead of starting on one platform and then having to rebuild on another platform. I don't use this account anymore, but I logged in to find I've been following you here for almost nine years. No way. <laughs> That's a long time. Imagine packing 21,000 orders, damn. <laughs> Top model. One bot seems more streamlined, yeah. So if I want both to be able to redeem sound points, they're gonna have to share. But what is also annoying is like it shares the gamble cooldown. So it's like, well, that's annoying because then you don't know when the last one was if you're only seeing one chat. Although if you were someone who's like really active in chat all the time, you're probably at a computer and you could probably just have both chats open to see both stuff. But that's hardcore though, that's for, that's for the real hardcore people. And you'd have to be at a computer. Um, ooh, yes, there are Java monsters back there. Hello. I just don't know if this is too heavy. I need more Red Bulls. I haven't gone grocery shopping since last year. <laughs> I haven't gone grocery shopping all year. Now we do get HelloFresh meals, so that's why we haven't had to. But, you know, we gotta go. We gotta get some stuff. We're out of bread. We're out of like fruits and veg other than little mandarin oranges and like onion and garlic. <laughs> so.
knock on shopping in a year for all of 2024. Emily, thank you for the four months. Thank you for the four. What do you sell? If you want to find out what I sell, you got to sign up for my 10 week course, which is for only six small payments of $20,000. And then you'll get the secret code to buy tutorial package number two. And once you finish that, then you can find out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> link, in, link in bio, no. <laughs> I have sweatshirts. I have various things with my, my artwork on it. I design all my stuff. So we've got like notepads, washi tapes, enamel pins, stickers, some small art prints. I've got some little shopping bags that fold up into little, little pouches. <laughs> I uh, got sketchbooks with embroidered covers on them. Mm -hmm. Right now we have strawberry and witch hat, but I have two new designs in the works. <laughs> Bailey's pyramid scheme. <laughs> I'm here for Bailey's scam era. Bailey's practically living in a bunker with all this product surrounding her. <laughs> I'm like those emergency preppers, but I've just got product. That's a mix, mandarin oranges, onion, and garlic. <laughs> so I go for a snack and it's like junk food and I'm like, I need something fresh. <laughs> but I've been snacking less, I guess. But we also have so much junk food left over from Christmas. I've been slowly working through it. Like I got chocolate in my stocking. Then like my mom brought up a bunch of her baking but then she also brought up other snacks, like two Costco packs of hedgehog chocolates and a big bag of maple pretzels, which we already had maple pretzels, stuff like that. And she brought up a box of oranges, even though we had just bought oranges. That's why I still have oranges left is because we just have so many. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect shot for me. What song is this? It's from my royalty free music supplier, Epidemic Sound. I gotta go to my other computer because I'm not streaming off the computer you see on camera. I'm streaming off a different one. Uh, my fire. It's called Fire. Mind Me as one word, like mind me, one word. Mind Me featuring Alexa Capelli. Fire. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's been so long since I had a Java monster because I've been going for the yellow Red Bulls. The green ones are also good, the dragon fruit ones. But Java monster. I usually don't have much for energy drinks, but they're nice for stream day. Sponsored by. <laughs> Bottoms up and the devil laughs. They have the logo on the wrong side because now you just see this. If the logo was this side, it would be free advertising. This is not a Christian company at all. I said I'm drinking Monster Energy drink. Where are the sound bites? <laughs> okay, this song I know is called Gemini Rights by Zorro. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> okay, for Adriana. Five X Chocolate Crew, chest. Monster energy isn't lefty friendly. <laughs> but I mean, even if I was right-handed, it's just the direction of the camera, really. Really, it's lefty friendly if you want to show off the logo. Right-handed, it covers it. But also, it's not even there. I guess it is right-handed for like 
the logo being open, but it's camera, camera angle. Yeah, this probably is like intentional. So the right-handed people, it's always showing. But my camera's on the other side, sucker. He helps people and he flies and he helps people. I meant the monster energy sound bites. <laughs> Although I do love those ones too. I'm too lazy for sound bites. <laughs> You just gotta type the name if you know the name. Although, what are the names? There it is. And the double laps. I'm <laughs> too broke now to do sound bites. <laughs> what does the gold monster taste like? This Java monster? It tastes like coffee. It kind of tastes like those bottled Starbucks drinks. It's like a brownish, like a milky brown liquid like a coffee with lots of cream and sugar in it <laughs> i keep putting that on the scale like it's fully packed this is not a christian company at all there we go bottoms up in christian company kevin the savior you have to change your whole setup if they sponsor you <laughs> I used to watch your very first workstation videos on Zed Kitty Zed. You've come so far. Eee! Oh, Zed Kitty Zed days. Okay, I think we've had one order that had something other than a sweatshirt in it. <laughs> but these are nice and easy to pack. It's one sweatshirt. Boop. Nice. And I get use of my mailers. <laughs> this next order is for Jillian. The message says, love ya. And there's an emoji of an angel? First I thought it was a baby chick. I think it's like a fairy woman, like she's got wings. She's blonde with wings and a green shirt. Must be a fairy. What did you call me? Okay. Oh, we have a notepad in this one. The 3XL Pink Crew chest only and strawberry notepad. Strawberry short kink. I get why people would want nice sweaters with the cold weather. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you buy one of these, prepare to get compliments. Okay, prepare to get compliments <laughs> because it happens. People tell me all the time. And when I go out in mine, I get a lot of compliments. Have my first showcase coming up very soon. Eh? Do you like Taylor Swift? I do. It's not fizzy, right? No, it's not fizzy. She couldn't have Monster as a sponsor. I don't think she'd want to punch through holes through her walls. Is that something they do in commercials or something? <laughs> Your birthday's in 11 days. Ooh, coming up soon. Facts, I wore mine to work once and two coworkers complimented it. I don't think I can handle a Monster. I can barely handle the caffeine in a regular coffee. How much is even in these? Like, Red Bulls don't have that much caffeine. What the fuck? Where does it say? Oh, caffeine, 170 milligrams. Okay, let's do like how much Caffeine and coffee. 
40. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was more than that. <laughs> Wait, for 100 grams. Wait, how much is that? I'm thinking of like my Keurig. Okay, like a, an 8 ounce. Oh, an 8 ounce coffee contains 70 to 140 milligrams. Because obviously it depends on the type of coffee, what type of roast, whatever. For healthy adults, FDA has cited 400 milligrams a day. That's about four or five cups of coffee. So they're saying 100 per cup of coffee. So this is like, depending what metrics you go off of, this is maybe two cups of coffee. Hundred seventy isn't bad. That's like one point five coffees. Yeah, depending according to that last one that's estimated like a hundred per, then this is less than two cups of coffee. Although I have already had two cups of coffee. <laughs> I'll be at my limit after this. much coffee, melozio, espresso. I forget what my first coffee was, but the second one was a melozio. <laughs> oh, I wrote coffee. <laughs> Caffeine. What? Oh, melozio boost contains 200. The regular melozio blend contains 170 milligrams? What? Wait, one coffee pod is 170? This is, this is the same amount of caffeine as the coffee I just had. But how much of that caffeine actually makes it into your drink? Like just cause the pod has 170 milligrams. Which does the pod even weigh that much? Yeah, it probably does. Cause it weighs like a few grams, <laughs> maybe like two grams. <laughs> How much caffeine in a Melozio and espresso pod? 200 milligrams of caffeine per cup on average. Whoa, wait, that's boost. That's boost. I don't want boost. This one said Melozio boost is 200 and then regular Melozio is 170. So the boost is barely more, but one pod has as much as this. <laughs> Bailey about to start hovering. <laughs> now I'm curious what my first pod was. It would have been either Melozio or Peppermint or Hazelnut. Four hundred is the limit per day. But it said that's four or five cups of coffee. Clearly not. <laughs> like two Melozios. Okay. There's Jillian's. <laughs> Maria's. Maria, Maria. This is chocolate hoodie, chest and sleeve. For X. Yeah, 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 okay. There's a bunch of other stuff in here, so I'm gonna seal this up. Next Panera girl, no! <laughs> you should seal this up and put it back in the fridge. <laughs> I wish caffeine affected me. I could drink espresso with a Mountain Dew chaser than take a nap. The thing is a shot of espresso is like half a cup of coffee. You need like two espresso shots to make one coffee. Again, it depends how strong of espresso versus how strong of coffee you're used to. And Mountain Dew, does that even count? I feel like caffeine and pop just doesn't count. It's like negligible. <laughs> Let me try to remember what planners are in the planner pad bundle. <laughs> I feel like it's been a minute since someone ordered one. 
everyone except the video game one. My head feels funny. Maybe I shouldn't drink more. <laughs> or am I just psyching myself out? I could saran wrap it and put it back in the fridge. It's not carbonated. It's not like it's gonna go flat. Usually take decaf, but not everyone likes that. Coffee cleans out my intestines real good. <laughs> I don't really get poops from coffee. Like it can happen, but that's pretty rare. See, I feel like I'm actually feeling the caffeine a little bit, which I usually don't. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, maybe I should stop. Snow, I, I don't really know how much snow that is. Like if I stepped out into the snow, it might be like halfway up my shin in the deepest spots. It's not super deep, but it's been snowing. Today's like overcast. I don't know if it's still, oh, it is still snowing, but it's very lightly snowing, so. Okay, notepad bundle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sticker bundle. Wait, do we have any other stickers? No, other than the sticker sheet, so. I'll grab a pre-sealed sticker bundle. Some are sealed, some are not. Witch hat sketchbook. This is a big order, damn! Strawberry washi, a little ducky washi, a little ducky sticker sheet, and a video game washi. So, <laughs> so since I've been using this as the freebie sticker, but they ordered it, I'm gonna go with something else. But they got the sticker bundle, so they literally have every sticker. Except for the little, little ducky, I guess. <laughs> Let me see what else I got around here. Give me a second here, hold on here. Hmm. Got some bunnies here. Like the ones that are part of the bunny sticker bundle, they're smaller than the, my usual stickers because it's like a little bundle. Maybe I'll just do like a few of them. These. The teddy bear, the coffee cup, and the baking bun. Because those were the top three. <laughs> I'll just sprinkle those on top. Okay. 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 Wait, let me count this first of all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You get poops from breathing. <laughs> I do get poops from breathing. These are all not gonna fit in the same sleeve, so I don't know why I did that. The planner pad bundle will go together and then the other stuff will go together, so. <laughs> it might be like when someone gets a virgin drink and starts acting drunk. Now, although coffee doesn't really make me poop, the monster can, because it's like really creamy and stuff. <laughs> I'm not in the clear. It'd be nice if you still do button. Eh. I mean, I've thought about it just to like use up my button parts. Okay, 
We're gonna restock Y Baby Y Washi. Oh, I forgot that that was low stock. I didn't order more. <laughs> I can't remember. I'd already placed my washi order, but I didn't order it. I don't know if I in was intending on ordering more of it. Didn't I already restock it once or no? Maybe not. I can't remember anything. <sighs> Because Y Baby Y is popular enough that I could possibly restock. Maybe later in the year. My during thoughts. my next order. <laughs> Oh, they smell much better than her. She was lucky to have my farts sprayed onto her body. Now, will this fit in one of my four inch depth boxes? Probably. So I think the last rectangular boxes I had were actually not nine by 12. I think they were eight and a half by 11 because these are huge. I, I noticed it because my flattest boxes look different. I was like, first of all, they look deeper. They look like they're the one and a quarter inch instead of one inch. But then also it was wider. But the nine by 12 fits the strawberry planter pad better because in the eight and a half by 11, it was tight because that planter pad is eight and a half by 11. But now there's actually a bit of wiggle room, but it feels extra big if you're putting in like notepads. It feels like the box is too big. But. Although we do have washies in here, which we can tuck in. Maybe on this side so it doesn't interfere with the tongue of the box. I think we're gonna have to go deeper. Cause like with the sketchbook and everything, it's too deep. Plus it's a hoodie. It might have fit if it was a crew neck. Okay. We gotta go deeper. I get for Christmas. Um, well, you're telling me you didn't watch my vlog where I showed everything I got for Christmas? <laughs> Are you saying you did not watch the first vlog back of the year? extra because it is going to be kind of heavy. Let's H seal it. But I got a couple ceramic mugs. I got another inkwell that I may have linked Christian to. I got a couple stockings with various items in it. Madison, thank you for the membership. Okay. Let's see, this feels... Oh wait, this isn't a multi-depth. I swear I saw the creases when I grabbed it. This is the nine inch depth. Take three. <laughs> so 
front of them. <laughs> that means I gotta dig one out from under here. It sounded like he said filling because it cut out of my ear for a second. I'm filling on the internet. Sorry, my mouth is like right on the microphone. Hi. Because I'm bending over and the mic is swinging forward. Okay. Don't break a nail, don't break a nail, don't break a nail. This is why you don't drink energy drinks, kids. Five boxes and two forgotten products later. <sighs> it's a workout, I tell you. So usually I'll just do like that. But this is a little heavy, so I'm gonna. Meerkat, thank you for the membership. Yeah, he loved his Wheel of Time book set, box set. Book box set. He's got to figure out how to display it now because it's too wide for his bookshelves. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? There we go. Don't knock over the monster. Once a member, always a member. <laughs> Amori, thank you for the eight months. Can't wait till she sees my order. <laughs> I saw it earlier, well, before the stream started. Cause you left a message, but now I forget what the message is. It'll be like rereading it for the first time. I guess it was a forgettable message. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <gasps> How tall is this? It's because I was speed reading the messages to see if anyone had like the request to film on camera. Cause I was like, they're gonna get their request cause I'm, I'm streaming. So that was why I quickly skimmed them. <laughs> oh, how rude. <laughs> There's only one energy drink I've tried that actually makes me hyper, but it may be because I drink drink I drink two in a row. Goodbye, Anita. Hey Laura. Did you see the costume set Nerd Forge did of the series? She took all the books in one and painted the spine. Oh, custom set. It was amazing, you know. Someone brought it up on stream before, but I did not ever see it. Shannon's. Well, what if we jump ahead to Mockingjays? Because now I'm curious to reread the message. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's coming back to me. <laughs> it says in brackets, this is Mockingjay, lol. I've been religiously checking for silent sweater drops. This is, the, this is perfect timing because one of my cats puked all over my video game planner and OG witch hat notepad just last night, Bay Rip. How could I forget that was the message? The puke, because that one actually didn't skim because I was sitting there picturing this, like the video game planner and then the, the OG, which had notepad. Because I was like, OG, oh, and then I was like, oh yeah, yeah, like the first one I did. Kind of forgot about that one. I forgot a lot of stuff. <laughs> why, baby, why? Stop it. 
can't believe it. Two sweatshirts. Wait, maybe we need that big deep box then that I accidentally just made. Okay, it's the chocolate hoodie, chest and sleeve. Well, I only have two left, so this should both be it. Wait, nope. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I'm skipped ahead. Okay, wait. These are, neither of these are right. <laughs> I panicked thinking I gave someone the wrong sweaters, but that's because I just jumped ahead a couple orders. Okay. Chalk hoodie with sleeves. Pink, I gotta write this down. I'm gonna forget this. It was a brand new planner pad too, no. Was it like down the side of it so every page got hit and it's just totally ruined? Okay. It's all the chocolate ones selling. I keep having to dig behind the navy ones to get to the chocolate ones. Okay, and the three are pink crew sleeve. Hi! <laughs> You threw a sweater on my sweater. Oh, hi, Hello. Hi. Hey. I was at work when it happened too. It soaked through for hours. If it was just on the side, I would have cut around. But I'm saying the side is like worse too because it hits every page, but soaking through is just as bad. That is <laughs> just as bad. Because if you like caught it right away and it was just the middle, maybe you could rip off the top five pages or something. <laughs> hey, Wiki, where'd you go? She went in her little BB tunnel. Okay. Yeah, it's in your little tunnel. So cute, little arch. Yeah. Speak to the vlog. Whee. What? Oh, do you want rug pets? Okay. Oh, she wants rug pets. She goes, oh. <laughs> what? Did you just sneeze a little bit? The second one sounded a bit like a, a minor sneeze. Okay. Stood up too fast. Reminds me when my sister left out ice cream overnight, it melted and soaked into my paperback copy of The Hobbit. I was so upset with her. <laughs> the Song of the Mush People. Cat was paid off by Bailey, so they had to buy another one. What? <laughs> hey Madison, I'm doing well. You're moving away from enamel pins. No, I've got a couple ordered. Got a couple in the works. Benny, thank you for the membership. All right, there's a lot of other stuff here, so we might as well seal these up. Blech. Two, count them, two sweatshirts. Hi, cool cat. So hiccupy, burpy, I'm all over the place. Okay, 
strawberry planter pad. Strawberry washi. Little ducky washi. Sticker bundle. Mr. Bun Bun Hollow. Notepad bundle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I fit this all in one sleeve? Maybe. The, <laughs> the strawberry platter pad's so thick it barely fits. Hey, Chloe. Just lurking and watching the chat. Next one to pop up is to rip a big one. <laughs> what? Next what? Oh, wait, 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 you mean the next person whose name pops up as a, an alert? Wait, Bailey, I don't think I ordered the video game planner bed. Oh, that's weird. Oh my God, this is not all gonna fit in here. Hi, Tommy. Fart. But you say next one to pop up. Like, do you mean the next person who's alert to pop up? <laughs> I've also been here the whole time, but lurking while I work. Working and lurking. You have big Just Dance news, let's hear it. Hey Joe. Bye Ingrid. Oh, I mean you. Next one to pop up is to rip a big one. Oh, because I was talking about like burping and stuff. I did have a little toot just like two minutes ago. I don't know if anyone heard it. I was kind of talking over it. <laughs> it's one of those ones that goes. <laughs> just Dance is making a Just Dance movie? What the hell? Wait, what? Is it going to be centered around character lore? Is there character lore, like, for the dancers? They're like, hmm, Five Nights at Freddy's did it. We should do it, too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need that big box. Good thing I pre-folded that big box by accident. Although, I actually have another one this size already pre-folded back there. <laughs> but at least I'm using one of them up. Woohoo! Just Dance Lore is deep. Are you going to be in the movie? If not, I'm boycotting. Would a just dance movie even work? Yeah, you know there's sing-alongs. Maybe it's a dance along. <laughs> it is. Is it a musical? It better be a musical. Because if there's no music, I'm gonna be the Canadian Meryl Streep. Does this mean I'm gonna make my acting debut? <laughs> Thank you.
me making sure I didn't miss any product. That's a big boy right there. <laughs> How many inches is that? Nine! <laughs> Tommy! Wait, I have to measure centimeters. <laughs> 24. <laughs> That's gonna go as expedited parcels. Too heavy for a tracked packet. My free shipping thing says tracked packet. <laughs> if it's over two kilograms, it's gotta go expedited. <laughs> Tee hee. Never had a sick pet before. It's literally the worst. Nah. Oh, okay, it's just showing in chat as the six months. I was like, didn't Banu's alert already come through? But it's because it came through as like a new membership before. But it's six months. Woo, six month hype. Do you have to spend a lot to get the free shipping? Yeah, 100 USD. But for example, this one is costing me 32.27 Canadian dollars to ship. So that's probably close to 25 USD. Yeah, it's like 24 USD. Although this order is a $200 order, but certain orders are like just at the $100 threshold. And then I'm spending a quarter of that on shipping from my profit margin. And maybe like, like of the $100, maybe 50 of that is my profit margin. And then half of my profit margin goes towards the shipping. You know what I'm saying? So I can't make it any lower than it is. A lot of places do like, 150 or 200 as their free shipping threshold. I feel like 100 is pretty generous for a small business. Because that's half my profit towards the shipping. It depends too on like the weight of the package and stuff, but. <laughs> Just deliver them yourself, geez. <gasps> Annabelle, thank you for the five months. What do you use for music? Is it royalty free? It is, it's Epidemic Sound. Did you fix the shipping costs? Chaos, what is that? C-H-O-S. Is there anything that needs fixing? <laughs> Kiki's delivery service. I present to you a <gasps> Chaos! Speaking of chaos, <laughs> thanks for gifting 10 memberships! <laughs> oh my god, this is two orders! <laughs> Alright, now Shannon's order. <laughs> Local pickup. Did you restock Luna Moth? Because I need one for this winter weather. No, we had we were just working on strawberries and Christian just got started on Luna Moth, so it'll be a while before the restock. Maybe like a month. It is chest only, so it's faster than like adding sleeves to strawberry, I guess. We'll see. Because I have so many blanks for Lunamoth that it'll probably be over two batches. Like, I'll do a little bit of each size for both. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I was going to make the chart for Christian, but that also reminded me I was going to... I, like, added a bunch of stuff to my cart, but never checked out for sweatshirt blanks. Oh, I hope they're all still available.
seven seven five okay and then there should be ten three XLs and twelve two XLs whoa 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 oh good thing I'm checking I added twelve XLs and and then ten two XLs oh I'm supposed to do twelve two XLs and then 3x. Ho, oh. oh. ho. Good thing I caught this. Jesus. XL crew necks, but then I need 2x and 3x hoodies. Because when I ordered the plum blanks, they didn't have any of those. XL crews, then 2x, 3x hoodies. So. I want 10 3xl hoodies. Oh, I added alpine green. Ah! That's the default color. I gotta go down to plum. Okay, good, there's enough. 10, add to cart, and then let's remove the alpine green. Okay. And there were no 4XL crews, but I'm grabbing all their 5XL crews. And midweight hoodies. I have in 4X too. But there are no 4X crews right now. I have some, but I'm ordering more. They literally have just like black. I think I got some navies, like a few. <laughs> but that's the only things I carry in 4X, 5X. Which is why I usually do the Gildan blanks. But even those are very limited colors for 4X, 5X and limited stock available. Okay. So 35, I'm ordering 35 XL crews. Oh God, I better be able to sell all these, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 12, two X hoodies, 10, three X hoodies. I have more of those for crews. I'm ordering more crews than I am hoodies because the hoodies aren't as popular. Okay, check out. Ship. It's loading shipping method. Free with a $5 handling fee, but. Okay. My total is $2,411. Hope I have space on my card for that. <laughs> and the chart for Christian I'll do later. Order confirmed. Okay. More blanks on their way. Please buy them, please, please. <laughs> Did you end up streaming yesterday? No, I don't stream on Tuesdays. Hey Juno, I <laughs> can't wait a month. Me and the emergency vet decided over the phone that I can wait until morning to see if the situation resolves itself before you need to bring him in. So guests try to relax for now. Ah, the stress. That's a lot of money for shipping. Oh no. <laughs> no, the shipping was $5. That total was for the sweatshirts. Swipe and pray for a miracle it accepts. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't, I would just log into my banking and pay off the card. But like I put the deposit down for my sketchbooks. So I had to do, like I had to get them to break the sketchbook payment into two. And then I like, well, cause first of all, it automatically is broken into two. You pay 50% upfront, but I had to get that 50% broken into two. So I could like pay, pay for it, then pay off my card and then pay for the next half of the deposit. <laughs> but I never paid my card off after the second one. So my card's probably like at its limit right now.
because I ordered like notepads, I ordered washi tape, I ordered sticky notes, <laughs> I'm ordering these now. I'm like, mm, my card's probably back up to its limit. I thought that was how much shipping you paid for the orders that you've packed. No, I was just placing an order for more sweatshirt blanks. Hey, Bella. <laughs> I have arrived. Hi, Kaylee. Do you use a card for points versus paying directly? Well, I don't know if they even take debit. I mean, maybe, but like, I do get points. Or I guess for this, well, for the sketchbooks, I could do like a bank transfer, but it was through like a specific bank and I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> do you get a higher limit for being a business? Um, no, but I have requested one credit limit increase that I got but then, like, one of my personal cards has a higher limit than my business card does. But then the other personal card has a lower limit. <laughs> it kind of goes by time, too. Like, like, my one credit card that has a high limit, over time, they'd be like, Oh, you qualify for credit limit increase. You qualify for credit limit increase. They just gradually increase it over time, you know? Whereas for the business one, they weren't doing that. I had to specifically like book an appointment with the bank and be like, gimme. And they were like, hmm. They're like in their, I'm like in the office. I'm not even at the tellers. I'm like upstairs in the office. Whereas with my other card, they're like, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. But the business one, they were like, hmm. Why do you need this money? Okay, for Shannon. My zit is so itchy, but I don't want to scratch it because I got concealer on it. Ah! <laughs> for <laughs> more X Navy hoodie chest. That's this one. There's probably no concealer left on that thing. Oh, you were talking to Tommy? <laughs> What do you tell them? I need a loan so I can sell my own iron line. I wasn't taking out a loan. But I just explained how I have like big purchases that are above the limit of my card. I don't remember all the details. Immediately scratches face after you mention itchy face. Yeah, it doesn't help that Kiki was crawling all over me, getting her fur all over me. Hi, Elise. Miss Tammy. I love your sketchbooks. The design of the paper quality is awesome. It handles everything I've thrown at it. <laughs> Good night, lily pad. My experience is that if you stay on top of payments, they gradually increase limits. I do. I do pay my card off like multiple times a month. But the business one, I guess, was just different. Same with like my joint card with Christian. They haven't just like thrown credit limit increases at me. Maybe that's Christian's fault though. <laughs> I mean, he's the primary card holder, not me. So I don't know. Can you deduct the sweaters as a business deduction? Um, I mean, any money you spend counts as an expense. That doesn't mean you get it for free. It just means you don't pay income tax on it. Or sales tax. Cause like, okay, let's say you're a person and you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, but you spend 60,000 and you have 40,000 left. You are taxed on the full hundred thousand. But if you're a business who makes a hundred thousand and you spend 60,000, you only pay taxes on the remaining 40,000. That's the difference. So like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> 
So business is only taxed on its net income, whereas people are taxed on their gross income. <laughs> hey, chips and dip. You still have snow? Yep, and it's been snowing, so we're getting more. We've had snow since like early December. Been white this whole time. We even had a white Christmas. Realistically, how much do businesses really save on taxes through this? Is it really that much? Yes. Getting taxed, like the example I just gave you, getting taxed on like the 40,000 versus the full 100,000. Plus businesses, the tax rate for businesses well, they say it's like around 12%. I feel like it's like 10 effectively when you like look at the numbers. Whereas like an individual might get taxed 30%. Like, so if you're an individual, you're getting taxed 30% on the full 100,000, okay? If you're a business, let's say you make 100, spend 60, you have 40,000 left, you get taxed 10% of the 40,000. So that's a huge difference. 30% of 100K versus 10% of 40K Massive difference. <laughs> Wish I had snow, we just had a light dusting of it this week. <laughs> What's an income base mug? <laughs> Gross, stinky income. So my work pay is taxed gross, yes. Well, I don't know about every country, but like, as an individual, you are taxed based on your gross income. A business is only taxed based on their net income. And it's a lower percentage. So it's like wildly different. <laughs> Remember to press a like button, <laughs> yeah. So the example I gave, that person would pay like $30,000 in taxes, the corporation would pay 4,000. 30,000 versus 4,000, huge difference. How did you learn all this? Did it take time? No, I just woke up one day and I just knew it. Christian's giving me a look. <laughs> well, I read it out loud. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, he does have an earbud in. Okay, I gotta go grab more sweaters. I don't earn enough to pay tax. I pay national insurance though, but I doubt I'd ever earn enough to pay income tax. I like your background, <laughs> thanks. Taxes for freelancers really suck. And in the US, I got to deal with health insurance on top of that. 21 corporate versus max, 37% on individual. For where? 21% corporate, <laughs> not for me. Don't tell the CRA I said that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so federal is, well, it says 9% in 
slash 4.5%, whatever that means. And then Alberta's 2%. This one that says, it's like a really complicated thing, but it says 15% is the effective tax rate. Mine is, like, if you look at my numbers, like my income tax statements, if it's like, oh, your net revenue is 70,000, but then I owe around 7,000. At least that's how it's been. I don't understand how my accountant comes up with these numbers, but it's like closer to 10%. Although this year, my net was in the negative. <laughs> Although you guys remember my vlog where I was like, my bank balance is like $54,000 or $52,000 less than what it started at. So I was like, I basically lost 50K this year. The actual amount on paper is like 26,000. So I guess my tax refund is not gonna be as big as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably not getting a refund at all. I think it's just gonna get put towards next year's installments although i did get a refund from the government of alberta for 122 dollars for the business <laughs> my cat ziggy says hi kiki Kiki is nowhere to be found. Neither is Midna. They abandoned me. Okay. We need a 5X chocolate hoodie with the sleeves. Hoodie with the sleeves. An extra small pink crew with the sleeves. Four X Navy crew with the sleeves. Three X pink hoodie, chest only. Four X chocolate hoodie with the sleeve. I have to refresh because there's another order that's come in. 2x pink hoodie with the sleeve. Let's refresh. Well, it says one new, but it refreshed to, well, it's a 248, okay. It's probably up to date then. Oh, but there's two in this order. 4x sand hoodie. Oh, that's the last one. I didn't even order more of the light sand, like for 4x, 5x sand. Because at the time I ordered more blanks, there were still a lot of sand in stock, but then they have since sold. So now there was like one 4X and one 5X left. And I was like, whoop. <laughs> but also it's not very popular, a popular color. So I was like, I'll focus on the navy and chocolate. Okay, and 3X pink crew. Those are both chest only. Okay. Once a member, always a member. Wow, I've been subbed 32 months. 32 months! Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> Boots with the fur. US taxes, I'm a tax accountant. Boring, I know. Dang, Americans getting screwed. Max 37% on individual. That I don't understand. Cause like, well, like, that's, <laughs> I do understand, but like Americans are like, oh yeah, we don't have free healthcare, but we pay less in taxes. It's like, do you though? <laughs> do you pay less in taxes? <laughs> Your tax brackets go pretty high. Obviously the thresholds are different everywhere, but. Okay, it's also like, people say, oh, Alberta is the, province with the lowest income tax rate and I'm like is it though like the highest bracket yes only goes up to 15 but like the base bracket is 10 percent and that's for income up to 145,000 so their first bracket is huge all the way up to 145,000 that's most people most people are going to fall in that bracket 
and it's 10%, whereas like BC, their first bracket's only 5%. So like, uh, if you're rich, yeah, Alberta is cheaper, but if you have like a standard income, it's not cheaper. I had to look into that because like my taxes off my paycheck went up when I moved here from BC. And whenever I tell people that, they're like, what? I thought Alberta's taxes are cheaper. So I looked it up and I'm like, they're not. Unless you're making over $145,000, then sure, it's cheaper. But like, it's all a lie. But let them, let, let them think they pay less in taxes, I guess. I'm surprised the blanks are out of stock so often. Yeah. <laughs> Although for the independent ones, I'm gonna see if I can make like a custom order, like special order stuff. And if there's like a color I want and they're completely out of it, I'm gonna ask if I can just like request. Although I might have to buy stuff by the case in that case. Cause usually a case is like 24. So like I couldn't afford to buy a case of 4X and a case of 5X cause I probably would just not sell that many. Actually wait, over time I probably would. Cause if I can only get it in like black and navy, I would be ordering ahead of time, I guess. I'd be ordering enough for multiple designs. But for like extra small, I'm not ordering a case of extra small. <laughs> Only rich people get cheaper taxes, but I believe that rich people should be paying more tax and small business should be paying less tax. Chips and dip, I think that's fraud. Oh, how do you decide what your salary is gonna be? Can't you just say it's the smallest amount possible since you can report less income tax? And then Torah said, I think that's fraud. You can take a small salary as long as you're actually taking a small salary. <laughs> like, you can't take like a $100,000 salary and say you're taking 10,000. There's an obvious paper trail there from the bank account. <laughs> but you're right that you can take a small salary if you want. Bailey, screw small people. <laughs> I can't order a case of extra smalls. I'll never sell them all. Because <laughs> at least for 4X, 5X, first of all, I sell way more 4X, 5X than I do extra small. Second of all, <laughs> it's limited color selection, so I'm using the same colors for multiple designs. Whereas if it's like Luna Moth, I'm using plum. I'm not going to order 24 extra small plums because I'm not going to sell that many extra small Luna Moths. Got any larges coming? They should be in stock right now. Maybe? Are they? They should be. Justice for us smalls, rude. <laughs> hey, fluffy bun. Angie says, I'm losing weight. I'm 20 pounds away from the X off my size. Oh. I have a relative who did that and ended up in federal prison. <laughs> Salary idea for self-employed individuals is very complex. Partnerships are taxed differently than LLCs or corporations. See, that's US bullshit. Like here, you're either incorporated or you're not. And there's only one type of corporation. There's no S Corp, C Corp, whatever the hell. Like, you can technically have a business number without being incorporated, but all your income is gonna get taxed at the personal rate. That's what I had before I incorporated. 
So it's like, yeah, I got a business number, but I have to claim all the income on my personal tax return. And so it's getting taxed at like 30% or whatever. So it's simpler. You're either incorporated or you're not. <laughs> I've tried Googling the US corporation system and it just goes right over my head. I'm like, what the hell is all this? Spooky, thank you for the 25 months. Okay, I gotta go grab these. Wait, I still have one sitting here though. Oh. <laughs> okay, cross the first one off. I still have to pack that one actually. For Shay. Okay, there's a sketchbook in this order, so let's just seal this up separately. Hi, Taylor. Yeah, I'm multi streaming now. I can finally play just dance from after my pacemaker surgery. Just dance is so much fun. <laughs> I'm glad it went well. It's doing an animated emote, so I'm just assuming it says dance because it's a little guy dancing. <laughs> okay, we also have Witch Hat Acrylic Keychain and White Strawberry Sketchbook. So that can go in one of my new mailers. It's the biggest, deepest mailer I've ever gotten. <laughs> Versus like, this is just a regular box. This is a literature mailer, the way it opens like this. Okay. Cool. Chocolate hoodie, chest, and sleep. Okay. Just double checking that. Fuck this business shit. I'm not opening an Etsy shop. I'm just gonna go walk the streets. <laughs> How's the workout routine going? Really well, actually. I did not have time for today. I mean, if I got out of bed earlier, I would have time. But I think Wednesday should be my rest day because with the stream setup, I don't have as much time. And because I feel like I need a rest day because I've been going hard and like, <laughs> I've been so tired every day. I'm like, okay. Wednesdays. But I just got back into Step Mania the other day. I played it for the first time since starting the workouts. And yesterday I tried playing Fall Guys while using my hula hoop. It was a disaster. <laughs> I couldn't run straight. So <laughs> that didn't work out. But it was worth a shot because I was like, dude, if I can get my Fall Guys dailies done while I hoop. Because I haven't even been getting my dailies done for a while because it's busy. And because I've been reading in the evenings, trying to get through a book. Going hard, you say. <laughs> Literally what I end up thinking when I go, I could do so-and-so. I hate the ads. Wait, why are you getting... Oh, never mind. I thought that was a subscription, like a subscriber icon. <laughs> I was like, you shouldn't be getting ads. And never mind. Oh my God, I clicked something and now my windows are all out of order. Ah. Literature mailer, what a fancy name. <laughs> no literature in these mailers. What are you buying Christian for Valentine's Day? I'll buy him some uh, more sweatshirt blanks. Just bought him for him to stitch. <laughs> he went like this. How do you like the hoop? It's pretty good actually. I think I almost need to drop a link on it because it's like several links hooked together because it needs to be tight on your waist. It is very casual, but that's kind of what I like about it. Cause sometimes I don't want to get up and just jump straight into something extreme like step mania and be like, <laughs> so it's, I, I say it's kind of equivalent to like going for a walk. Like you got to do it for a long time before you start getting like building up a sweat and stuff. So it's to me equivalent to going for a walk, but it's targeting your waist more than a walk would. But it's getting loose on me. It is a little loose. It's sliding down to my hips a little bit. So I took a link out yesterday, but then it was a little too tight, I think. So I was like, oh, I'll wait a little longer. When I'm wearing my sweater, it's a little tighter, but still a bit loose with the sweater. Because sometimes I start with my little sweater on. It's pretty thin, but 
I start with it on, then I take it off halfway. But it's a little loose even with the sweater on. Are you still playing that SpongeBob game? Yes. <laughs> Shakira, is that you? Ole, ole, ole. Wait, is this one the eight inch? I keep forgetting. Or not eight inch, centimeter. No, it's the 10. She's a 10. Can you link the hoop? Uh, I don't have a link right now, but if you search like weighted hula hoop, I also can't type in this chat. <laughs> I'm just viewing it in OBS, which won't let me type. I can type in the YouTube chat. I might do more troubleshooting with the chat at the end. Like when I'm done packing orders for the day, this is going to turn into a, like a tech support stream because there's no way for me to know if I'm fixing the problem unless I'm actually live streaming because my joint combined chat is not working today and I don't know why. Even on the computer I'm streaming off of, it's only showing Twitch comments. So I don't know what the deal is with that. It's not showing the YouTube comments. Cause the Twitch chat is like always active, which I actually really like. So you can type into someone's Twitch chat when they're offline. And like, if you pop out the chat window, you can just keep it open. Whereas YouTube has a, a new chat window for every single live stream. It's a new window I got to open. So stupid. But that's probably part of the issue. Will you be making Valentine's stuff for your shop for next year? I don't, I'm not thinking that far ahead right now, but usually I don't do Valentine's stuff. I could do like a sticker or something small, but who knows? I'm focused on this year. I took the first month is free YouTube premium offer. Now I cannot go back. <laughs> That's how they get you. But I love premium. <laughs> Got my new phone today. Watching you is my first priority. <laughs> Yay for new phone. Okay, now Arena's order. Oh yeah, I have to go grab more sweaters. Right. Be right back. My main issue with working out is it's just getting started. Once I'm doing it, I don't want to stop. I just suffer greatly from executive dysfunction. Yeah, dragging myself out of bed to actually start is so bad. And cause like, I'm just so sleepy in the morning like, <laughs> and it's cold. So like, as soon as my blanket's half off, I just want to whip the blanket back on. And I'm just like, Ugh. Like even if I'm awake, I cannot bring myself to get out of bed for like an hour. <laughs> But my workout stuff is right there in the bedroom, which helps. And I brought a TV in there so I can watch YouTube videos while I'm hooping. And usually like the last thing I'll do is I'll go for a lap around the pond. But since it was like minus 40 degrees, I have not been going for the pond laps. <laughs> Even today is a little cold for that. So we'll see. But that's why I started busting out like the step mania, et cetera. I also do some like on the floor workouts, like ab workouts. So depending on the day, I might do any combination of those exercises. Although like an ideal day is hoop 20 minutes clockwise, then hoop 20 minutes counterclockwise, and then the little floor exercises and then a lap around the pond. Like usually I hit up all three things. Also, I might bring this, my switch up there to do some just dance. We'll see. And and then I could also do Ring Fit Adventure if I bring the switch up there, so. React Paint Crew. Forex Sand Hoodie. X pink hoodie with the sleeve. 
4X chocolate hoodie with the sleeve. These chocolates have been so popular. This might be the last one. I keep having to reach, at least for the sleeved ones. For 4X. Because I keep having to reach around the, the navy to reach the chocolates. 3X pink hoodie. Forex Navy Crew with sleeve. There's one. <laughs> That's hoodie. Oh wait, this is it over here. Yes. No, that's hoodie too. Wait, what the hell? Forex Navy Crew. There's one. And extra small pink crew with the sleeve. Oh yeah, that one's already out there. Okay. Pee. All this coffee's going through me. Mic off. If there's anything lumpy, I won't be good at it. My boobs will not be tamed. Speaking of that, the step mania made me realize I need some workout bras. <laughs> well, because I've just been working out without a bra. But then I did step mania and I was like, <laughs> I had to like hold them down. Cause if it's like the hooping, it's like whatever. Or like uh, I'm laying on my back doing like ab workouts, whatever. Or just going for a walk, whatever. But step mania is bouncy. Wait. Wait. And now there's a print, we'll put this in a box. Once a so that can be sealed up. Three little ducky sticker sheets. Two Y B B Y sticker sheets. I can't even remember the last time I reached for one of these. <laughs> the extra small pink crew with the sleeves. Video Once game member, washi. Merid, thank you for the six months. And Bambi, thank you for the 13 months. At 
piece art print cottage core buns sticker shit. You need to stream just dance again so I can judge your dancing. <laughs> oh, there's a little bunny in here. Oh, but he's messed up. And looks pre-peeled. These will be the freebies <laughs> since they're already getting ducky sticker sheets. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How long does it take to make one sweater? So the strawberry chest design takes 40 minutes. That doesn't include hooping or cutting stabilizer or any thread breaks. But assuming like the active stitching time is 40 minutes, assuming nothing stops. And then the sleeves are 20 minutes each. So if you're getting the sleeves, it's another 40. So that'd be 80 minutes of stitch time for the chest and sleeve variant. Now, this is gonna be pretty small in this box. <laughs> I almost could use the three inch depth boxes, but I didn't order any more of those because I was only really using them for the sweaters and the sweaters are really tight in there. But that was also eight and a half by 11. This is a nine by 12 box. So like, there's so much extra space. Plus this is extra small and it's a crew. The crews are much flatter. So this is kind of too big. Where'd those freebie stickers go? Well, they're probably gonna fall underneath anyway. <laughs> I was gonna put them on top, but. There's just gonna be a lot of empty space in there. I'm not filling that with crink. We'll do a little bit for the looks, but it'll be fine. It's not fragile. How much you make a day on average? Anywhere from zero dollars to thousands. <laughs> So the average, I have no idea. Twenty twenty three, I made negative dollars. <laughs> oh, the sweaters. Oh, <laughs> like how many sweaters a day? Um, I mean, it varies. Probably like 16 to 20. I don't know. Depends if Christian's adding sleeves and stuff or like, it would be less. Depends if like the machine pops up maintenance or not. Cause 10 per machine is a lot, but it's doable. Cause if, cause he works like, he works seven hour days. But it's not like the second the machine stops, it's reloaded and going. Like there's downtime between the 40 minute batches. But he'll typically like pre-hoop. Like since we have two machines, we have four of the hoops. So it's like, he's hooping up the next sweater while the machine's running. Overworking your employees. Seven hours is overworking. And listen, 40 minutes stitch time. If there's no thread breaks, you can chill for a little bit. <laughs> there's less downtime with the, the sleeves. So when he's doing the sleeve days, it's more work because it's shorter stitch time and then he has to like cut around each shape. Whereas the chest, you're cutting around everything as a whole it's like one big piece of stabilizer whereas the sleeves he cuts between each little right error service int.tp not available for a specified country 
Oh, it's because this country has no tracking. I have to go as a small packet. I can't do a tracked packet. That makes me nervous, but here we go. Sending a sweater without tracking. <laughs> Need to create a sweatshop. Need to make a thousand per day. I can't sell that many. These need to get out of the way. <laughs> Next, for Caitlin, Winter Bun Washi, a video game reusable bag. Wash mushroom mat, strawberry washi, winter bud notepad, strawberry notepad, forks only be crew with the sleeve, dainty flower bag. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. Since the strawberries were your first design, do you know how many of those you have sold to date? Um, no, I don't know off the top of my head. It'd be split across three listings because there'd be the up to 3x listing, then there's the 4x, 5x listing, and then there's the discount listing. So I'd have to go through and get the stats for each and then add them all up. So Bailey, I have a crush on this guy who I always see in my chem classes. He has huge biceps. His biceps are bigger than my face and my physical chem, in physical chem, he sat right beside me. And oh honey, during the whole lecture, I couldn't concentrate. I had my eye on him the whole time because his muscles are sodium fine. Oh my God. I love the plays on words. How much do you pay you? I can't disclose that. <laughs> I still need to give him a salary increase, but like we lost money last year, okay? I can't afford to give him a salary increase at this time. Because <laughs> I started giving him a salary when he worked part-time for me, but now he's full-time for me, but he's still only making his part-time wage because I am poor. <laughs> no. We'll see how this year goes. $69 an hour. <laughs> Kiki and Bidner quality control. Our sweater's better for sketchbook for profit. By percentage, sketchbooks have the higher profit margin. By dollar, the sweaters have a higher profit margin. <laughs> 420 an hour. No promotion, but he's the number one employee. <laughs> I'm the number one in Blay. What do you do about health insurance now? Canada, baby. But also I do kind of want dental, so I might look into something again now that there's two of us. Back in the day, I, like years ago, I looked into something for just me and it was not worth it. Just for dental. Cause like, I'm not someone who gets cavities or anything, but 
Maybe as I get older, I'll need more dental care. And Christian does wear glasses, so if we had something that was like dental and vision, he would at least benefit from the vision part, but. Cause like, how much is dental per person per year? If it's over $300, it's not really worth it. Unless I decide to go for my twice a year cleanings. <laughs> what if I do like a once a year cleaning? It's not worth it. So we gotta order more, that's what you're saying? <laughs> if I'm homeless, it's your fault. No. I've, this year will be good though. I invested so much last year. Plus like a lot of my expenses were like furniture for down here. Some of it was previous business year. But like the art table, the, the matching console table and end tables, that was, cause my business year ended September 30th. So that was all just this past business year. And two, no, the one embroidery machine, technically one is the next year. I bought so much in blanks. Like I spent over $10,000 on sweatshirt blanks, but I never sold them all before business year end. I sold some. I also had a sketchbook shipment come in right before my business year end. So of course I didn't get a chance to like sell some before then. So there were a lot of expenses. Oh, and like the shopping bags. Um, a lot of big stuff. So, oh, and like the, like all the furniture in the embroidery room. The huge heavy duty tables, all the stacking bins, a computer, like a good computer. <laughs> so that was the year of investing and this year we'll be reaping the rewards. You know what I'm saying? I'll reap what I sowed last year in a good way. The shopping bags will haunt you for years to come. Yeah, they were actually one of my best sellers. I talk about this in the vlog that you'll see on Friday, but like they were actually some of my best selling items. It turns out <laughs> I just have a lot left because <laughs> I had to order so many, but like that made me feel a lot better because I felt kind of down about them. But in terms of like money generated, they were my number three item. The bundle was. I didn't add together like the individual bags, but like just the bundle itself was my number three top seller in terms of money. In terms of quantity sold, it was my number 10. But the fact that it even cro cracked top 10 for both, I was like, what? Wait a minute. Did I put the thank you card in there? Yes, I did. No! I was specifically trying to not touch the sticky part. Maybe I should just put it back on. <laughs> Wait, this isn't the right one. This is too short. I can't go and use your cleanings. Need to get caught up with Thousand Pound Sisters because they're currently showing season five. I saw some clips about how the one sister's craving water. She's like, I think I'm pregnant because I'm getting cravings. The doctor's like, what craving? Okay, this is not coming back off. She's like, I'm craving water. <laughs> and her sister's like, bitch, you're just thirsty. <laughs> How are you doing on getting through the Sassy Santa bags? The new bundle definitely helped, especially because during the Christmas season, the Sassy Santa bags were half off if you bought the bundle. Now they're priced to be like the other bundles where it's 25% off. You're getting four bags for the price of three. Oh. Looks like a scrot. Sorry, Caitlin, <laughs> your bag looks scrotish.
But yeah, prior to the bundle, the Sassy Santas were just like not moving. They're obviously still the worst seller, but that's to be expected. But it helped a lot. I sold quite a few Sassy Santa bundles. Although to be fair, when I first released the bags, it was January. Cause I originally thought I would have them before Christmas. But then I didn't have them. Well, I think they were delivered like December 27th or 28th or something. So I put them up in January. And so it was already past Christmas. <laughs> so this is the first Christmas season where I had the sassy Santa bags. I still think I have way too many, but you live and you learn. I can always include them as part of bundles in the future, like other kind of Christmassy bundles, like, you know, I can find a way. Like buy this and you got a free Sassy Santa bag. <laughs> that is just giving them away, but conditionally, you know? Oh my God, speaking of the bag bundles, we got this order here with two bag bundles. Okay, first of all, five little ducky sticker sheets. This is for Renee. I love them so much. I use them every time I go food shopping, same. And listen, if you're like me and you just go grocery shopping like every two weeks and buy a lot of stuff, you're gonna want like at least eight bags. I go to the grocery store with 10 bags. So you're gonna need like two bundles at least. <laughs> Renee Zellweger? Yes. Three hollow midnight rain stickers. Two bag bundles. Five golden rings. The multi pack bundle. Technically each design has its own bundle now, but this is the variety bundle. And what I like about these is pet hair does not stick to them. Cause like, I used to have those black cloth reusable bags from Superstore and they would just cling. Same with those blue ones from Walmart. Like fur and hair sticks to those. These are nylon, they're fur and hair resistant. Cause I would bust out my shopping bags at the grocery store and I'd be embarrassed cause there's like fur on it. And I'm like, this looks disgusting and dirty and it's on the conveyor belt and I'm putting my food inside of it. <laughs> These are clean. At least they look clean. <laughs> Two dainty flower washi tapes. A blank white sketchbook. Strawberry washi, male cat washi, cottage core buns sticker set that's almost sold out. Finally, <laughs> winter bun washi tape, sticker bundle, and 3X pink hoodie chest. Woo! Look at all this. Mamma mia! This person's gonna go shopping for sure. <laughs> Do you think you'll make other reusable bag designs one day? I would like to. I would go with a different manufacturer so I can order smaller quantities. I can't really justify it at this point until I move more of these because they're taking up a lot of space in this room. So... Not anytime soon is my answer. <laughs> I would like to, but I'm not going to until I move more of these. Also the bags don't like suck up stink so you can put stinky things in or if the meat leaks, these are better than cotton bags. And they can go in the washing machine. If you do have leaky meat, you can throw them in the wash. I'm learning a lot about how hard it can be when starting out with a small business. I mean, there's a lot, but a lot of it is like 
problems you don't even think of until it happens. So a lot of it's kind of figure it out as you go. There is, of course, the initial research and whatnot, but a lot of it's figure it out as you go and just upgrade as you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, wait, there's a message. Do not film this on camera. <gasps> I'm just kidding. It says. <laughs> Yay, do not have to cut my cut off my arms. I made good on my promise and ordered two ducky sticker sheets plus three. Be well. <laughs> Tommy, no! You said my meat do be leaky. <laughs> no. You ordered 500 of each or 1,000? I ordered 3,000 of each. That was the minimum order quantity. See, once they told me that, I should have ditched the Sassy Santa and just done the other three or like designed something new, but like, I should have abandoned Sassy Santa once I found out it was 3000 minimum, but I didn't. But I think I have made back what I, s wait, have I? <laughs> wait, have I made back what I spent on them? Probably close. Well, again, I haven't added together all of it. Like looking at the bag bundle alone, no. So by dollars, no. Okay, wait, maybe I'm not actually that close. Well, I'd have to add together the individual bags too. And the new bundles I made. So. We're probably getting close though. <laughs> it's at least making back what I spent. And then it's pure profit after that. I'd love a Halloween one. Oh, I know. I would love like a, a strawberry one, a Halloween one. Maybe Luna Mop. So many possibilities. <laughs> Luna Mop, hard eyes emoji. Luna Mop bag design would be nice. Have you considered selling them wholesale? Yeah, that actually has been suggested. I can't mark them down too much cause like my profit margin is not, like it's not really enough to do wholesale unless they charge more for the bags than what I sell them for. Like, well, if I sold them half off, I would still have a small profit margin, but it wouldn't be much. It would be better, I guess, than not making anything off of them, but. <sighs> it's something I might have to do though. I don't know how I would go about it. <laughs> I mean, it could probably just be a listing on my website. I wouldn't make people sign up with their business or anything. If you're like regular Joe Schmo and you would want to buy them in bulk, I could let you, but it would. <laughs> Excuse me. But would these people be ordering the Sassy Santa one? Probably not. <laughs> Okay, oh, I, I missed Kitty's goodnight message. Good night if you're still here. <laughs> Probably not. Hi, Dino. How much would bulk be? I have no idea. Cause I already sell bundles of four. So like, like here's the thing about wholesale. People want wholesale pricing if they order like five of an item. And I'm like, five? I'm basically giving these away. <laughs> five is not bulk. It would be like a box of 10 of each design, 40 total. 
100 minimum. <laughs> but the question is, am I comfortable with other people selling my stuff? Because my whole thing is like, it's exclusive to me. These are my designs. You got to buy them from me. But I might have to make an exception for the bags. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might just have to let them go. Have you seen the Mean Girls movie? The new one? No. I I mean, I'll probably watch it on streaming. I don't think I'm going to go to the theaters to see it. I'm, I've never seen the musicals, and I don't know the songs in the musicals, so, like, I'm not really attached to it. And everything I've seen of the new movie it does not really entice me. I feel like it's for fans of the musical, which I am not. I don't want to watch just, like, a lower quality version of the original. <laughs> Forty would be doable for a few friends to split. Five is not wholesale, small discount, yes. Bulk is more like 40 plus. But everyone I see who like sells wholesale, like small businesses selling wholesale, it's stuff in like batches of five. And I'm like, is that what wholesale is? I'm pretty sure my mom would buy out all your sassy Santa. She loves Christmas and especially little Santas. Would it still be A or B grades separated? My bags don't have A and B grades. Have you heard of fair? Yeah. I would not go through a third party like fair for wholesale. I would just put them on my website. <laughs> I mean, probably more eyes would see it on fair, but if my profit margin was already going to be that low, I'm not giving away more of it. Okay, what am I doing? You can set your own wholesale minimums. Yeah, exactly. I just don't know what's like typical. best profit item by dollar sweatshirts by percentage it would be enamel pins or washi the price varies each time depending what i'm getting but sell it to a christmas market vendor yeah i don't know how i'd find these people but They'd have to find me. <laughs> Just keep making the same TikTok over and over. Do you sell it? Christmas markets? What do you think of these? <laughs> Although it's not just Christmassy stuff at Christmas markets. How many bags do you have left? Bitch, I'm not counting that. Like half of them probably. I don't actually know. <laughs> well, maybe no, probably have more than half left because if I'd sold half, then I would have made back the money I spent on them. I don't know. Okay, where were we? How do you price your items? Do you look at competitors' prices? Yeah, it's a mix of that plus just what does it cost me? Because like usually I'll say, okay, here's how much it cost me, so I'd like to sell it for this much. But like, is that ridiculous and so then i'll look at other people and be like oh no they're selling this for the same price or they're selling it for even more than i am so i'm for sure comfortable with that price like kind of st industry standard for an enamel pin is 12 us dollars but mine are 10 us dollars 
because the profit margin is already so high. <laughs> Obviously, it depends on like how detailed the pin is and how big and how many colors. Is there glitter? Is there extra little bits to it? You know. getting an alert on this address. I'm just gonna see if this person's ordered from me before and if so, was it shipped to the same address? Where's our email? Oh, there it is. They have not ordered for me before. I mean, if they're saying the apartment number is not valid or not found, but like it looks okay to me. It's just a letter instead of a number, but that's how certain places work. Place an order today. Do you think you'd get to it on stream today? Yes. Dream item to sell one day. <laughs> I'm already making my dream items. get away with the deep mailer. My brain is in five different places right now. Lurkin says Leslie. Love you all. Love you, Bailey. Kiki and Christian, you all have fun on streaming. Bye. Done work. Don't work too hard. See you, Kate. Scrolling up. Oh, my uh, grieving at the moment. My uncle passed away on the 12th of January. I'm so sorry, Kate. Using one of the Sassy Santa bags as a crochet whip bag and taking it with me to the cancer center every week. Everyone loves it. Oh. <laughs> Your prices are significantly lower than I would expect them to be. I feel like my sweatshirts are definitely expensive, but I am using nice blanks like. I mean, that, I feel like my sweater pricing is pretty standard for other small businesses I see selling embroidered sweatshirts, so that's good. It's still just a lot. <laughs> but... 
but also these are nice independent the independent pigment dyed are just so good <laughs> they're so good i mean some of my 4x 5x is gilded but i priced those cheaper because the blanks were cheaper I see people selling them for the same price as me, but with cheaper blanks than me, you know? But I can't really fault them for that because <laughs> it is what it is. By percentage, my sweaters are the lowest profit margin item, but by dollar value, it's the highest. <laughs> so I don't really blame people for having a higher margin. What am I doing? I am like zoning out. <laughs> it's taking me like 10 hours to get through this order. Help. Oh, we're just over two kilos. It's gotta go as expedited parcel instead of tracked. <sighs> Hey, Sian. It's okay to zone out, you got this. See, I love you all. Yeah, I'm in tears about my uncle. He had dementia, but the age care home wouldn't ring for an ambulance. Oh my God. No autopilot during filling orders. That's how you make mistakes. Pile of big boxes. Nexus for Rachel. We have the chocolate hoodie, chest and sleeves. And locking clutches. Okay, so I don't actually have any locking clutch sets made, so I can't send it out. But I'm gonna keep your money anyway. Just kidding. Just kidding, we're gonna make a set. sets of these right now I'm just making them to order if I'm lucky mr. talent will rub his tentacles on my art So this can go inside the sweatshirt. Every time I hear kilo, all I can think of is cocaine because that's literally the only thing I've ever heard it used to measure. <laughs> if you're measuring cocaine by the kilogram, <laughs> you're some kind of big wig dealer. I guess when those police, when police make the big busts, several kilograms. I watched Cocaine Bear over Christmas. <laughs> Such a funny movie. And one of the, there's a guy in it where like, I've seen this guy all over TikTok. He's in Cocaine Bear. He also had like the best scene. <laughs> the ambulance scene in Cocaine Bear is the best. I was like, how are they gonna top this for the end of the movie? They didn't, they didn't top it. Hey, Emma. Did I put a thank you card in there? <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. to make a big bust, says Tommy. <laughs> I 
I've seen all the seasons of Narcos and Narcos Mexico. So they do talk about kilos of cocaine, but I'm European, so everything else is kilos also. <laughs> See, I'd think more on the scale of grams, but like I said, if you're t if it's like you're thinking like cartel moving large What's amounts, sure, kilos. <laughs> Luca, thank you for the seven months. Next is Caitlin's. We have two orders left, unless more have come in that I got to refresh for. Oh yeah, it's a refresh as of 2.48. Yeah, we definitely got to refresh. But first, let's finish these. The pink hoodie, Charleston sleeves, 2XL. That's really side biz. I'm not big enough for kilos. I'm sorry. This is a joke. <laughs> dear YouTube and dear FBI, this is a joke. <laughs> Strawberry notepad, planner pad bundle. <laughs> TLC, thank you for the seven months. This is your order? But I thought your comment... I thought these were already on the list when you made your comment. Well, there we go. Thank you for the order. I thought you hadn't placed yours yet when you commented that. <laughs> the DEA. What would it be called in Canada? Yeah, you ordered earlier today. Okay. When I saw the comment, I thought you meant like you're about to place an order. Like, oh, if I ordered right now, kind of thing. <laughs> I made an order about an hour, so it will be done today. Yes, you're next, Deb. You're the next order. I'm gonna refresh to see if new ones came in and then um, once I'm caught up, I'm gonna troubleshoot the chat thing to end off the stream. So <laughs> if you don't wanna stick around after that, that's understandable. Um, mailer, mailer, mailer. Mailer, 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 yeah. Yeah. The RCMP usually handles the drug stuff. Yeah, you would know. I think the package I expected to have a high customs fee has made it through without. Oh. <gasps> Order just came in. It's hard to decide what to do for an upcoming birthday when it's 10 degrees out. <laughs> Indoor beach party. You turn up the heat, pour some sand. So our little plow things going by, cute. Pour some sand in your house and everyone wears swimsuits and you get some like inflatable beach balls and like some beachy cocktails with umbrellas in it.
Okay, that was Caitlin's. On to Deb's. <laughs> oh, this is the one with the two, the two sweaters, which are the two remaining ones. Just double checking them. Yes. Okay, so I guess I'll put the thank you card in one of them. And then for Gretchen Wieners. My eyes are closing on me, it's 12 a.m. here. <laughs> I wanna order a sweater so badly, it looks gorgeous, but I could never wear pink. <laughs> There's also sandstone. Although, might release new colors in the future. Although I wanna simplify like down to one color now, <laughs> now that the design's getting older, but also it's like, hmm, re-release in a new color. <laughs> so excited for my hoodie, I have a mild obsession with strawberries. <laughs> Is that where the little red comes from in your name? Little red strawberries? Little Red Riding Hood Strawberries. <laughs> no, but that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Say the new color is a special edition, charge 600% more for it. <laughs> Hang on, I'm placing an order, says Meerkat. <laughs> okay, so we'll set this to poly small, but it's technically taller. Probably say like, let's just say 14 centimeters to play it safe. Damn boy, he's thick. Woohoo, thank you, Deb. Shiny version, one in 1,000 chance. Okay, now let's hit update all stores. Because it hasn't updated for over an hour. Oh, another one. Updating, updating. In the meantime, I can Put some of these in a bag. Okay, how heavy is this? Um, yeah, tie that off. And then... Oh, six new! Well, we got six more to do still. Woohoo! <laughs> You still play Pokemon? I haven't in a long time. I haven't been playing much of anything. Other than my Spon- or not Spongebob. I have been playing Spongebob, um, like a mobile game. And then there's the Fall Guys Daily Spot. I don't even do those every day. I gotta go back to Tears of the Kingdom. I gotta go back to Elden Ring. I gotta like go finish <laughs> the stuff I abandoned. But obviously without the weekly gaming streams, I'm doing less gaming. Rebecca. All right, I gotta write all these down and go get them. I'm writing it on my little ducky notepad. Available at BaileyJ.com. I heard another one. Two X Pink Crew. Five X. Chocolate crew with the sleeves. This pen is like sticky. It's like gripping the paper. 
small pink crew. That one's no sweaters, but a lot of Y baby Y stuff. <laughs> a lot of washies in that one. And this one, also not a sweater. I'm gonna refresh to see the one that just came through. See if I need to grab one more sweater. <laughs> you have to build a brothel in Animal Crossing? I already did that. Two new, oh my God, and another one. <laughs> oh no, oh shucks. I mean, I just refreshed. Okay, those two don't have sweaters, so let's update again. I've been wanting to order from your shop lately. Maybe I'll take a leap of faith this year. So if I keep making orders, you won't end the stream. I buy one sticker every order. <laughs> Maybe I should just go grab these three. It's not updating. I mean, it did push through two. Maybe that thing was just delayed updating versus this. Okay, BRB, I gotta go grab three. I'll just, I don't need the bin. I'll just grab them with my arms. Doorbell. Where's my phone? I'm traumatized from answering the door for salespeople. It's a long skinny box. It's gotta be DTF transfers. <gasps> Which one is this one? DTF Prince Canada. Someone recommended this one place in Halifax, which is not one of the ones I ordered testers from. So now I'm like, hmm. Should I also test that one? We had a snowstorm today and I still had to go to work. A Tesla ended up on my aunt's fence. Just new fame pass is adorable. She's skinny. Some stickers in here. Three freebie stickers. Way to make me feel like a cheap ass. It's giving AI. <laughs> At least for this one. Okay, anyway. There are things in this world that we will never fully understand. understand. <laughs> Perspective on that. We want answers. 
I don't know why, but I'm so invested in this DTF journey. Girl, you're giving away whole sticker sheets. Oh yeah, that's true. That's like 10 stickers on there. That laugh sounded like a dolphin. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this because I can't. Don't cut through the transfer. Whoa. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's so cool seeing like a full color pencil texture illustration as a transfer. Everything has like a white ghosted edge to it though, like on the left hand side, right hand side, sorry. What's up with that? Is that normal? Okay, well, I've got some stuff to play around with. I'm not gonna know if I like the feel of it until I actually press it, because I'm gonna compare it to what I already have. But I also ordered one thing from Ninja Transfers too, because people say that's like the gold standard, but it's expensive and it's coming from the US. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying out Canadian companies, but I wanna compare them to Ninja Transfers to see like, I just need to know what a good transfer feels like, because I don't know. I don't know. So I need that to be like the standard that I'm testing the rest against. That was fast, so cool. We need it's giving AI as a soundbite. <laughs> Return of sniff like a dog. How are you covering the second monitor? Uh, in my streaming software, I just have a, an image over here, a PNG image file. It's so big. Would you have to cut all this out by hand? Yes, but you don't need to cut like exactly along the shapes. It's okay if there's a bunch of excess plastic on the edge. So it's like, you just have to roughly cut around just to separate them out from each other. Doesn't need to be cut nicely. That cover up is so neat, it fooled me. <laughs> it's also very similar to my desktop background. It's a slightly different illustration, but it's similar vibe. Although right now you don't see my desktop at all because I've got all my streaming stuff up. But... Oh, Tiki, you're disappearing. She has no tail. Little demon. She's here to fuck shit up. She's here for shoulder cat round two. Come on. Get on mommy's shoulder. She's like, free me, help me. You're so soft, baby. Also another order came through. I better get to work. I started the stream with 17 orders. And right now I have like at least eight unfulfilled. So compared to where I started, there's a lot left. Although we, I've been purposely taking it slow to fill up the stream time. Okay, we need that 2XL, here it is. Pink green neck chest for Rebecca. Kiki weighs about seven or eight pounds. Come on, mommy scale. She was like seven and a half the last time I weighed her on my scale. But I think she was a little higher than that at the vet. But also she was like not staying still on the scale at the vet, whereas here she was. I put like a little bucket here and then I teared the scale and then put Kiki in it. <laughs> Come here, Kiki. Midna is too heavy for my scale because it only goes up to 12 pounds. Oh, did you miss this? What is that? 
she's like, what are you up to, mommy? She was about 3,800 grams. Let's try that again. Yep, it's flickering between 700 and 800. So let's say 3,800. So 3.8 kilos, which is 8.3 pounds. Oh, she's eight pounds and she's eight years old. She's a small baby. Cause Midna is like 15 pounds. Wait, I thought Midna was 1.5 times Kiki's weight. Ugh. Not double. I don't know. Maybe she is double. Although the vet said Midna does have a bigger frame than Kiki, but also extra fluff. Yes. Oh, Midna. Oh, there she is. You're too heavy for my scale. We can't weigh you. <laughs> oh, Minoosh. We love a curvy queen. Hey, Christina. I had one kitty that was 18 pounds, another was 22. Damn. That's even bigger than Minouche. Although Minda's not huge. Like, she's still a normal size cat. And she's a girl. She does have extra floof, but she's not like a big cat. Kiki's like half the size of my cat. He was weighed at 6.7 kilograms today. Okay, sleep bye. Good night. My mom babysat my three cats and they doubled in size. <laughs> my sister-in-law has a 35 pound Maine Coon. <laughs> Maine Coons are huge. My largest is 16, but my smallest is four. Four pounds? Is it a kitten? Oh, right. <laughs> like sealed that up. It's gotta go to Polly Mailer. Got distracted by the Kiki weigh-in. A new series with Kiki, My Eight Pound Life. Oh, gotta re-tear the scale. Getting a holy grail plant tomorrow. It's an Epiprenum Cebu Blue. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. And yay for holy grail plant. It's the whole plant and it's a really good price. Ooh. She's a tiny girl, at least eight years. Oh, small baby. Renty. Five X Chocolate Crew chest and sleeve for Laura. Hey Laura, you want some AI freebies? <laughs> Pay it forward. Oh my god, it's like the ring where you have to make someone watch the tape. I'm passing the curse on. <laughs> How much would it cost to ship Kiki versus <laughs> Not no. Do you ship to England? I do. Recently got a Cebu Blue after years of searching. Oh my God, are they that hard to get? That's crazy. Oh wait, I need to I'm like weighing it without the bag. <laughs> she said Tordy. <laughs> Not the curse. Are you gonna stop making prints? Um I think I'm just gonna tone like dial it back a bit. I think I still want them because it's like it's something that you can just print a full piece of artwork onto. 
You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of products, more simple stuff makes sense. So it's nice to at least have something that I can put the full artwork on. They aren't that popular though, so I think I'm just gonna have to start ordering fewer and fewer. Like I swear for this one, I only ordered 300, but I still have a fat stack left. So maybe I need to start ordering like a hundred of each print. And then if it sells really fast, then order more, but. I mean, in the case of Tulip on, I could maybe 200. Cause there's, that's probably less than a hundred left. I don't actually know, hold on. But now I'm curious. I'm gonna check the shop inventory. Well, cause I would have ordered 300, but I would have withheld some, but of what I did put up, how much is left? Products. Tulip. I have 109 in stock. So yeah, I sold close to two thirds, but not quite. <laughs> so 200 is probably a safe amount, but it also depends on the print. Cause like, you know, some are more popular than others. So maybe 100 to 150 <laughs> of each print. Do you ship to Bikini Bottom? Yes, for a price. You have the shipping fee? It's not so much a fee, but I require the Krabby Patty secret formula. And if you can't get that to me, then I can't get this to you. Ooh, customs description. Hold on. Back to the product tab. We gotta do more custom stuff. Sweatshirt. Wait, is this, was this a sleevey one? Yes, it was. Just for the declared value. That's why I need to know. Oh, and the country of origin, Canada. Apply changes to open orders. It's probably the only one. Yeah, okay, orders. Doo, doo, doo. Oh. I put the value as being, I forgot that these are the cheaper blanks. <laughs> I've been putting the wrong declared value, but it's just to the US, so it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna fix it right now. Strub. Here we go. I'm just gonna check some of these. I'm like, wait, I didn't double check the price on my new variants, but I basically just overwrote the indigo ones. So it's probably fine. I didn't like create a new sweater. I just changed the color name. Um, indigo, indigo. Okay, that one's correct, correct, correct. Okay. Okay. Sleeper agent under plankton. I missed out on buying the print with the bunny drawing from her previous red bubble shop. The, which one? I've had multiple bunnies, but I don't remember what was all in red bubble. 
small pink crew. Going to Kathy. Once had a dwarf guinea pig that was barely bigger than a hamster, so small compared to his normal sized brother. The proportions were whack. Oh, tiny baby. If you ever brought back Mr. Bum Bun, I would buy at least two. Oh, the like artsy buns. What, 150 to 200 work for print, so you have some extras for order replacements, gifts for family members? I would not gift prints to family members, but I just withhold 3% of what I order. So like if I ordered 200, I would save six. I think 200 might be a bit high for, for a lot of my prints. That was a toot. Nobody heard that. Nobody heard it. So I just have so many other products that are more interesting than prints these days. And if people have run out of wall space or, you know, everyone's got their reasons. I sold a lot of prints when I first opened my shop, but that's because I had like prints and enamel pins. <laughs> like that was one of the only things you could get. Why, may, may, why? Plus just like what's kind of the hit item changes over years. Why, may, may, why, no bad. Why, may, why, bag, no pad, thicker treat, washi tape and thicker treat, sticker sheet. Why, may, may, why, sticker sheet. Y B B Y clear vinyl sticker and mail cat notepad. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent, excellent. This is for Peyton. <laughs> Bailey farts on lives. She does much more than that. <laughs> no. But yes. Why, Bailey, why? My farts. Oh, they smell much better than her. She was lucky to have my farts sprayed onto her body. Toots and boops. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Whatever happened to Baby in the Box pins? They sold out. And I restocked them, I think. And they sold out again. Baby in a box. Baby in a box. Now, Heather's order, Dane, oh, this is the washi order. <laughs> we have dainty flower, strawberry, thicker treat, little duckies, video game, male cat, winter buns, and sassy Santa. I think that's all of them, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and the new washi I ordered. Well, I ordered a Luna Moth that's like the 
15 millimeter size like this. But then I ordered, I ordered a 20 millimeter one of the tulip wreath slash tulip garland like this, but straight. And it's a clear PET washi, pet washi, whatever that stands for. But it's like transparent background. So I've never done a washi like that before. Ah! How about baby in a box, notepads and stickers, a slogan could be, if I fits, I sits. <laughs> It'd be funny to do like a set, like I don't wanna do sticker sheets anymore, but if it was a sticker sheet of like, it's baby in a box, but it's like different cats and different boxes, like different containers they're sitting in. A little variety pack. For Jamie, we have a male cat notepad. A little ducky sticker. Oh, hi, Kiki. Are you tiny baby? Yes, she is. I love pet tape. Okay, does it have a thing you peel off the back? Like a backing you peel off? I think it does, right? <laughs> I was unsure, but it makes sense. Yes, okay. Thank you. Would you ever do a blind bag type deal? Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, I do the advent calendars, which are a blind bag of sorts. So I'm just realizing this can go in a flat mailer. In which case, I should just have everything in here. Kind of like letter mail, but I can't do letter mail outside the country anymore. Not even stickers. Like, come on, man. did that I'd buy at least five then five more for my five friends this one's for met meta meti met M-E-T-T-E at peace, arse, arse print, <laughs> a print of my arse, <laughs> at peace art print, little ducky sticker sheet, and opalescent, eight by 10, right, because we're sold out of five by sevens. So I'm gonna grab a piece of chipboard for that. In fact, I might grab two chipboards. Oh, I'm one of these envelopes. <laughs> when is your arse ever at peace? <laughs>
And since there's a little ducky sticker sheet in there, I'll just add a couple of these bunnies. These paper envelopes, they're cut crooked. So like, you know, I look stupid when I fold over the edge. This one's going to Norway. No way, Norway, no way. Norway. Yes, for me, you say both E's at the first way you said E, meta. Meta, Facebook. Thank you for your order. Can't wait for it. Will someone get the cursed AI stickers at some point? I mean, if they want them. Yes. <gasps> Listen, if artists are ordering your DTF transfers and you send them AI stickers, that's kind of, that's kind of point against you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, doesn't this, am I, anyone else getting the AI vibe from this? Yes. Hey, I vibes. Taking me many years to collect those friends. <laughs> That's sure something. Hey, creepy. Have you ever sent a package to Iceland? I have. Is that from another artist? No, the, these were freebies from my DTF transfers I ordered. One of them came in and these were the freebies. The other two I think are less obviously AI, but considering that this one feels very much so that these might also be like my trust that's not as obvious but my trust is broken okay <laughs> once the radar goes off it's hard to turn it off but this one is just like <laughs> it feels so yeah it might not be but it really and the shoes are really weird. Like the tongue and the little thing sticking out of the tongue, it looks wrong. And then the zipper kind of gets funny at one point, like, you know. And then the bear has like, you know the line that goes from the nose to mouth? It extends into the chin a bit too. Like it goes down, but kind of fades away. It runs down most of the chin, which could be a teddy bear thing, I guess, but. And like the buttons on the jacket are two different sizes. <gasps> oh, this is for sure AI. Like wildly different sizes. The buttons on the pockets, one is like three times the size of the other. I don't know if you'll see that, but chest pockets. I mean, if Wacom already tried to fool us at D and D cards company, magic. See, it's kind of scary for the companies too, because like, well, what I read about the magic one was that like they hired an artist to make something or something, but then the artist used AI for the background. I don't know if that's true or if I'm just misinterpreting it. I didn't look too deeply into it, to be honest, but it's kind of scary because you could hire someone to create art for you, but you don't know if they're being legitimate. Like you might hire someone to draw something, but then they just go and use AI. Or maybe like they use AI and then they paint over it to like fix it up. Like you, it's kind of scary. 
You almost need like an internal artist. Although you think someone like Wacom would have an internal artist. <laughs> like, <laughs> they should just have an artist on staff. At least one. I mean, that person could still cheat and lie. But you made the art yourself. Not this, these are not my stickers. These were freebies. I make mine myself, I did not make these. I received these as freebies. This is like so floppy, I'm struggling to peel it. The backing is very floppy. Oh my god. I see so many AI of Tom Holland being naughty. Oh my god. Whoa. I think it is vinyl. It's very thin and interesting. My stickers are way better. <laughs> they fail to do a basic check, like zoom in and you'll see the numbers just turn to gibberish on the gauge and the pipes just come out of nowhere and suddenly end and a lot of things not many artists would purposely add. AI art sucks too, because it affects artists who aren't using AI because people are always doubting. Oh, that was a reply to someone above mine. I'm gonna start a business creepy AI art stickers. <laughs> anyway, order up squid for Catherine, we have Witch Hat Weekly Planner Pad, Witch Hat Notepad, Witch Hat Acrylic Keychain. Hold on. I'm gonna see if my crop's ready to harvest in SpongeBob. <laughs> Probably is. I have a missed call from Madeira. <laughs> anyway. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> AI art can and will hurt you. Madeira. Madeira who, basic? <laughs> Let's just say I've been approached about an alternative source of matte thread that is not even Madeira brand. So I'm looking into that avenue. I would still have to special order, but... Because my thing is, if I can't order Madeira thread through Madeira, I order it from Canso, which I have to special order. But I'm looking in... I've been approached about another source. Oh, why did I plant? Oh my God. I just planted sugar cane. Whatever, it takes only five minutes to grow, but like I meant to plant something long-term because I'm live streaming here. Also, Catherine must like the witch hats. <laughs> Maybe they watched your vlog. Alexa, paint my novel cover. Oh yeah, this is out of tape. It's 
See, this is self-adhesive, like it's closed, but just for the cuteness, I gotta add some washi. <laughs> I just gotta. Oh, there's like something grimy under here. Right on the corner. I'm just gonna do a new bag. It's not coming out. Did you get your dishwasher fixed? Yes, just in time for Christmas. <laughs> it got fixed like the day Brooklyn and Anthony got in. Restock, redesign the witch hat stuff or just wait for spooky Halloween stuff. Um, not restocking anything witch hat because most of it's still in stock. <laughs> it doesn't sold out. I mean, the stickers did and the notepads did and I technically made a new notepad design and I technically restocked the sketchbook. So this, the restock has already happened and the rest of it just never sold out. It's still available. There's still witch hat planner pads. There's still witch hat keychains. Enamel pins did just sell out, but they took like over, they took like a year and a half to sell out those enamel pins. So definitely not restocking. Onward to new stuff. Call him back on stream, I need the drama. It converted my uh, voicemail to text. This phone does that for some reason. So I can like, without checking the voicemail, I can check the voicemail. <laughs> they wanna talk about how to place orders going forward, it looks like. But there will not be any orders going forward, so. The pins are gone. Well, they were there for like a year and a half, at least, because I, those have been in stock since before we even moved here. Cause the witch hat restock came right before we moved. Or not restock, but like witch hat drop. And the witch hat, witch hat enamel pins like just sold out like within the last couple months. So it took way too long. Oh baby, I could tell when she was coming down the stairs that she had something in her mouth. She was like, Kiki had this. What's this? And this new toy? I gotta pee again. ran before I even threw the ball. But then when I do throw it, she can't really chase it because she's already over there. And then she kind of sulks because it was a bad throw, but it's like, it wasn't really a bad throw. There was just nothing to chase because you ran early. Oh, you went the wrong way. Where did the ball go? Where did it go? I saw her swat it. Oh, it's under here. 
Ugh, but my paint really cut. <laughs> I'm gonna pee now. Mic off. Childhood cat would always bring some socks from downstairs where my room was. <sighs> hey, Molly. Hold on, Ad. I'll be there shortly. I was peeing anyway, so you're good. And throwing Kiki's toy. Okay. Square, create and print label. That was the last on the list, but I think I just gotta refresh the store because I'm pretty sure I heard the counter update earlier. Top updating. <laughs> A geek. Hey Brie. Oh, we have two orders left. One for Amelia, one for Brenna. So for Amelia, two little doggy stickers. Notepad. Dainty flower notepad. Dainty flower washi. Strawberry washi. Midnight rain mat sticker. Daisy Girl pin, strawberry notepad, midnight rain hollow art print, and the opalescent 8x10. This is the fourth one I've sold since yesterday. And like, well, I guess, okay, I did just add it to the clearance section. But a couple of them sold before I even added them to the clearance section. Because I have stuff that I've like marked down, but I just didn't put in the clearance section. Then I was like, wait, I should. Because it's marked down. <laughs> so I guess that explains the last two with the sticker. But before that, I was like, whoa, this is suddenly selling. <laughs> we did poop once with Bailey. <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I need to grab one of those other envelopes and the corresponding uh, cardstock. <laughs> like, what's it called? I don't really need this cardstock much because right now the opalescent prints are the only eight by ten left, and it's a rare sell. So I just go grab the supplies when I need it. <laughs> How long have you had an active shop? I don't even remember what year I started. It's been at least a few years. Cause also I had, like I had the Wix shop before I had the Shopify shop. So it's hard to remember exactly.
And time flies, you know. Eighteen sixty seven before the internet. Remember OG Goofy Bailey shirts, yes. And like the five that sold. <laughs> I think it was twenty nineteen when he made the first enamel pins. Cause yeah, those the candy cane bun was on my Wix shop. And I can't remember how long I had the Wix shop before I moved over to Shopify. Less than a year, but... <laughs> Bailey's a vampire. She's also friends with Ghost Malone. If anyone has a thick dino pin, I will pay a hefty penny for it. <laughs> Shopify now shows me the prices in my currency. There's a currency selector, although probably not every currency is on it, but yeah, it's been on there a while. Although, well, I mean, the first time you visit, at least it should prompt you. You'll be like, oh, you want, oh, I see you're shopping in Canada. You want Canadian dollars? Let's merge, Let's say two washi, two notepad. It should automatically merge items that have the same description and same value, same harmonization code, but it doesn't. Maybe I should request that feature. Now, Brianna's sticker bundle. Cottagecore bun sticker set. Tulip bun art print. And dainty flower notepad. A wild Bailey on Twitch. Hey, Mochiani. I'm multi streaming. Been a little behind vlogs, didn't know you are back on Twitch. Yeah, I'm doing YouTube and Twitch. Because Twitch now allows the multi-streaming thing, so I was like, well, I might as well. But then because of that, I'm going to move the, the once a month gaming streams off YouTube back onto Twitch. Because it just feels so out of place on my YouTube channel. Wait a minute. Let's add this stuff because this can go in an envelope. <coughs> I've been fighting off a blinding headache for a while now, but the headache's winning. Thanks for a fun stream. I'm gonna go lay in a cold, dark room. Nah. I'm sorry to hear about that. 
Here's hoping for a swift recovery from the headache. Senpai Bailey reading my chats makes me feel real good. <laughs> I still have buttons for when you used to make them yourself, Avatar, Avatar and Korra specifically. <laughs> Haven't earned any points today. Has something changed? Don't comment much, but have a few times today. It does go by commenting for YouTube. Um, like the amount is exactly the same. Oh, hi, baby. I would just try logging into the loyalty store again. I don't know. Oh, wait, not rectangle, large. No, this is not the large one. The carrier is currently unavailable. Wait and try again. Canada Post. Where are you? Oh, now it's working. Hey, why is there a little tail here? Hey. Good thing those are wrapped in a plastic bag. Bummer. Meow. You have a headache rolling around chaos. <laughs> Need Bay Bucks better comment. Okay, <laughs> I think that's all for the orders. So thank you so much. A lot came through at the end there. I want to troubleshoot the chat thing while I'm still live. So this is gonna be real boring. So you don't have to hang around if you want. The order packing is done, but my chat extension is not working. So I've been, I have a separate Twitch and YouTube chat right now, which is so stupid. Cause YouTube is not showing up in my little thing that I use. <laughs> refresh, refresh. This is boring, I want my money back. <laughs> Watching from work, sad face, Oh, But maybe it'll make work a little more interesting. Although we're gonna get to the boring part, but first we have an order for Kate. <laughs> Witch hat weekly planner pad. Witch hat notepad. And why, baby, why? Sticker. <laughs> Lol, you thought you you was done? <laughs> I did, I did. Oh darn, I got another order. <laughs> Didn't put the label on the last one. <laughs> Greetings from New Zealand. Please give Kiki a kiss for me. Oh, come here, baby. <laughs> she tries to run away. <laughs> Iona sends their regards. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> Gumpla. Gumpla.
Brie lost a 10 thou gamble. Now you only have about 1.3 million pay bucks. Poor, poor. Okay. I, wait, I need to go to my other computer. I mean, I could try to do it here. The thing is, I don't know if it's gonna show up if I'm not live streaming on this computer. But at the same time, it's not showing up on the other one either. Okay, I'm gonna do more um, Googling. 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 I'm gonna do more Googling. It's annoying because this worked on both a test stream I did and my actual stream. Oh, a lot of these are YouTube videos. Let me search Reddit. <laughs> Okay, this is the one I read earlier. Not sure what changed. My YouTube chat was working on my stream last night. Same. After a couple weeks of testing, it just seems YouTube does what it wants when it feels like it. Someone mentioned doing like a YouTube chat doc. But can I do docs and Streamlabs OBS? They don't have the same menu. Because I'm using Streamlabs OBS now. But mm. next reminder, this is the boring part of the stream. <laughs> the packing is done. I'm just um, testing something because I need to be live to know if it's working or not. How do you get bay bucks um, on Twitch? You just get them for being present. On YouTube, I think you have to chat because YouTube does not. I found out that the bot is checking the viewer list, but on YouTube, there is no viewer list. And so it can only see names in chat. So it only knows you're here if you're chatting. Some of these are about kick. And I'm like, ew. Seems like there's not a whole lot of info on what I'm trying to search. Okay, 
Okay, let me re-Google this. I'm not finding anything. The way everyone stated when he said it's the boring part, give me and Bailey are alone time. <laughs> Okay, maybe I will have to go to YouTube. I have, think I've already watched this video, but let me look at the comments. Like if I toggle on their bot, maybe it'll work. But I had it toggled off last time and it was still working, so I really don't know. Google search itself has become very garbage. I know, I usually have to type Reddit at the end, which I did just do, because you get actual relevant results. Or like, if I don't specifically want something from Reddit, but I'm just curious about something, I'll type forum so that I get results from forums from actual people. Because I think my last stream started with the chat bot on and then I turned it off. Because I don't need two chat bots. You know what I'm saying? I turned off some moderation stuff. <gasps> Dude, wait, YouTube people talk. Wait, that might've worked. I just, but if I toggle it off now, will it still work? <gasps> farts. Oh, they smell much better than her. She was lucky to have my How did the scene switch? sprayed onto her body. What the hell? My order packing source is gone. What the hell happened? Oh wait, never mind. I'm not streaming from this computer. <laughs> I'm looking at OBS like this is all wrong. I'm not streaming from this computer. I literally have OBS up for the chat. So turning the chat bot on works, but now I'm going to toggle it off. Keep talking. YouTube and Twitch people keep talking. I'm going to toggle the chat bot back off. And it stopped coming through. Please multi-stream game night too. I just kind of want the gaming stuff off my channel. Like I kind of want to narrow in on the small business stuff. I feel like it's a little too broad and it's like the people who watch small business YouTubers are going to be scared. <laughs> okay. Now I'm toggling the bot back on. That's weird. Cause I toggled the bot off midstream last time. I think it was towards the beginning, but like it still worked. Huh? Okay. Well, we solved it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you guys for your help, by the way, for like sticking around and chatting when asked. It's a little slow to bring up the YouTube chat. Once a member, always a member. Or did it stop? Wait. <laughs> Wait, I see that. Bay Hypes, Brie, 
Kiki came to see it. Thank you. Oh, and then there's the yay. There's YouTube. Okay, yeah. It's just slightly delayed, but not too bad. But I think that's YouTube's fault, because any, like, chat overlays you have for YouTube is slow. Yay, Julie, thank you for the seven months. Still says 352 are watching. The one thing it will not show in the combined chat is your profile picture, but it does assign everyone a different colored username. Like on YouTube chat, your name is just gray, but if you're a member, it's green. But in this combined chat, it'll just assign you a color, which makes it real easy to like find the same person's comment if you're trying to scroll up to see what else they said, or just it just helps keep it separate and like recognize people at a glance. Whereas when you're just like a sea of green, it's like, who's who in the zoo? I'm oofing too. Oof. Quick, someone on Twitch say something. All I see is YouTube comments now. The second monitor is fake. It's real, I just have a picture on top of it to censor the orders. But I, I'm using this monitor. We are quiet. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so the bot needs to be on. Okay, someone do like the uptime command. I toggled off caps protection, link protection, emoticon protection, and symbol protection. <laughs> Damn, this bitch is bossy, LMAO, JK, high peeps. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. Okay, none of the bots are responding to the uptime. Oh, there it is. Although Streamlabs did not respond. Did I toggle off uptime for Streamlabs, maybe? Let's check. So, commands. Let me go to my custom ones. Delete that. And then double check it's not in default either. The thing is though, I don't know what other kind of duplicate commands we're gonna get. Okay, when I search uptime, nothing comes up. Okay, so that should be gone at least. Although Streamlabs didn't respond to that. Not that I saw it anyway, maybe it whispered. Although you can't whisper on YouTube. But anyway, <laughs> Bot Ricks responded. Cool. Okay, well, now what? <laughs> I mean, it is past five now, so. I suppose I could end the stream. I gotta bag up some of these orders, I guess. I could restock my sketchbooks over here. Although I don't want to break a nail, maybe not. I still have to paint my nails tonight, so. I don't want to be digging around in the sketchbook boxes because that is one thing that does actually <laughs> break my nails. It's like when they're unpainted. If they have gel on them, they're strong, but if they get really long without gel and they catch on something enough to bend the nail, it will just snap it. And I want long nails, so I'm trying to not break them. Which color? Just like a light pink. I have a new light pink I haven't used yet. So. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but it's by Jellish. Maybe do a couple of these big boys.
Then, some more rectangular ones. And maybe these three poly mailers. I will have to pack whatever comes in overnight in the morning, so. I gotta keep that in mind. If I stayed after stream ended, will I still be able to gamble? I'm guessing no. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't know about Twitch though, for sure not YouTube, I don't think. Quick, someone order something. I mean, I think I'm gonna end the stream regardless. If someone places an order right now, I'm still ending it. That's your warning. Christian's working on supper too, so it won't be that long till supper's ready, so. Wait, let's actually start with the rectangle. Could use a bit more so I'm actually gonna leave that open. I have two big boxes that'll have to go into a separate bag but I'll figure that all out tomorrow once I see how many orders come in overnight. Because tomorrow's mail pickup. I'm excited about my transfers. This is the smallest sheet I ordered, I think, out of all the sheets. There's so much blank space on the side, but maybe there's like rollers in the machine or, wait, but it looks cut on both ends, like by hand. I don't know, man. I mean, there was two sheet sizes, so maybe if you go with the smaller sheet, it's actually a big sheet cut in half. I don't know. But of the three places I ordered from, I've got one. Hopefully it feels nice on the shirts and stuff. I might wait till I have all three, we'll see. Oh, I should label this. No, he owes us favors. Although once I cut them, I mean, I can put them in boxes and then label it so I know which transfers came from which store. And yeah. Can you print on this sheet? Mm, I don't think so. This is like plasticky. They printed on my sheet. This has to get ironed onto clothing and such. It can go on like any fabric, really. What's interesting though, is there is a little white ghost on the right-hand side of everything. So like, what's the deal with that? Like I'm assuming it prints color and then prints, because there's layers to this, right? So maybe it's just not perfectly aligned. Can't win today, <laughs> losing the gambles. Oh, how the pendulum swings. I love the little flower emote thing. Up close, everything looks dotted, like, no, like a noise filter is on it. So now I'm kind of curious, like even the stuff that's flat color, if it's something where it's pencil texture, you can't really notice because that's just what pencil texture looks like. But the stuff that was flat color has the noise on it. Is that just what DTF transfers look like though? I gotta, 
I suddenly Gosh. really want to like worship darkness and the devil. I don't know. Where are my other ones? Wait, really, where are they? <laughs> Wait, here's a small one. Mm. Well, would you say that's a sign of a sick fuck? That's a tiny one, though. Although I do have the shirt that I transferred on to. And I don't see dots, but also I see the fabric texture, so I don't know. But where's like the roll of transfers Did I didn't one? use? Oh, yeah. For real though, where did I put those? Where are the unused transfers? Dude. Dude. If I were to put it somewhere, where would I put it? It's not behind my Kobe case, which is the last place I remember seeing it is on that table. If I were to tuck a roll of DTF somewhere, where would I put it? Wait, it's probably back in its tube, but where's the tube? Okay. Oh, I found it. It's up on one of the upper shelves. So these ones feel a little plasticky. So I kind of want to compare. I downloaded it from the internet. Okay, yeah, this has the noise too. But does not have the white edge. It kind of has some speckles of white here and there though. The back does seem a little different. This seems like more sticky rubbery. This one's more rubbery and this one less rubbery. Hmm. I'll probably wait for the other ones to come in before I test it. Does it smell burnt when you press it? Um, there was mild burning smell, but I wasn't sure what that was because I was pressing the same shirts like multiple times. And also there's lint all over my heat press. So I was like, is the lint going up in flames? There's some UV DTF here, which is interesting. Fuck, I was trying to re-roll it and I pulled it out. Hey Jess. Free sample looks more see-through. To me it doesn't look see-through at all. It feels thicker too. That doesn't mean better. Thinner might actually be better because I want it to sort of blend into the shirt a bit more. Yeah, that was place number one. Here's place number two. And I got two more I'm waiting on it. And then I can do more tests. More sacrifices on this shirt. <laughs> Someone like commented because I did the Lincoln text upside down. They're like, you're supposed to flip the transfer around. And I was like, this is a test. I don't care if it's upside down. <laughs>
Maybe you should leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> what? It's gonna be the coolest shirt ever. <laughs> There's like American flag, eagle, the word Lincoln. <laughs> and I got these from a Canadian supplier. <laughs> America raw. I could probably bring it to a Trump rally and sell it for big bucks. Maybe one of the five people present would want to buy it. <laughs> Oop. My phone vibrated at me when I touched it. I just remembered the Madeira missed call. No! I'm too scared to call back. <laughs> and look, this other matte thread I'm looking into is a lot cheaper than Madeira. I will have to special order, but they're bigger cones. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna end the stream. Thank you for joining me for my order packing and thank you for the orders. Yeah, successful stream, I had a good time. Vlog up on Friday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did something else happen with them? They called you again? <laughs> yeah, they wanna discuss how we're gonna do orders going forward and I'm like, there's not gonna be. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, I forgot to replant more stuff after I planted that sugar, sugar cane in SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.